Oh, sorry, sorry. We're good? All right, Bang Bang, welcome to the Dave Portnoy Show with Eddie and Company, live from Indiana, presented by Trade Zero. Yeah, Trade Zero. Uh, right now, if you got Trade Zero, wild day in the stock market. I didn't get to do DDTG in the afternoon, but last I saw, I'll look on the app right now, my uh, Trade Zero app, um, AMC was short, squeeze up 50% when I saw it. Um, let me see what it ended at. But another crazy day. Also, I've been giving people up 36%. I've been giving people Blade, B-L-D-E. I'm up 45% in the last three weeks on that. I actually own $2 million worth of it. 45% is big then if you own yeah, but it. Yes, but I got it at 10 and it went down to 6. So it's getting back to even. Oh, okay. okay. Um, but yeah, Trade Zero, they cater to the most active traders. Um, customer service reflects that. The guy Trade Zero, we've done such a good job actually. And so many people signing up with and happy show? with it. He offered me like a suite to the Yankees Red Sox game. Oh, nice. I will not commit to anything in the summer. So I said no. Um, but I liked, I've said it a million times. I like to be asked so I can say no. Uh, with the Indy 500, though, coming up, despite, we're, we are excited to be, what? That's us. Yeah, yes. with us. With the Indy 500, we're ex excited to be hosting the party with Diplo Machine Gun Kelly to celebrate this event. Trade Zero giving all no users who sign up. TradeZero.us slash Dave. Three months of free pro. $177 of value. $100 Drizzly alcohol delivery card to fuel the weekend. People, look at that. It's a lot of Free booze. drinks for total value of $277. Got to have a $2,500 minimum. Don't just trade. Trade Zero. Boom. Trade zero, blade, pen. Pen's on the come up a little bit too. Things are clicking. It's been a bad couple months, but we've turned the corner. It seems like you're clicking too. Are you are you enjoying Indiana? I like Indiana. You know, Rudy, who's in the studio after we had that humongous I've eaten so much pizza over the last week. Like I did, I think, 11 reviews in one day in New Jersey. That's a lot of pizza. That's too much. Was that the Friday? Who, who, went, who went with yeah, you? Yeah, Friday. Okay. And then um, that's what people don't get. They're like, oh, pizza doesn't work. We left. He picked me up at 10. We got home at 8 p.m. We just did pizza all day. It's a lot of driving. Then we've come here. We did pizza. And then we had fried chicken because there was this 100-year-old restaurant, Holly Hawk Hill. Superb. Superb. Um, but me and Rudy were talking. It's like, I got to go for a walk. Just walk the town a little bit? Maybe the greatest, greatest walking town of ever. It, it's beautiful. There's all these fields right in front of like NCA headquarters, those scumbags. They're putting in the uh, flags for the Indy 500. It's a beautiful walking area. IUPUI right here. I think our demented guy, uh, Mantis, went there. That's a. What? That was a low blow. Well, he is demented. Is that the tech? Uh, that's not the technical term, but you could use it. Well, that. he did that whole bit. He doesn't have a term. He's just demented. His body's demented. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't say what he's demented. Exactly, it is. That how else would you say it? He's demented. He has is some, he, I heard he's coming to the party. Yeah, he called. He's like, "How do I get in?" I'm like, "Place a bet, two hundred fifty bucks." Like so he's in. Else. Yeah, you gonna take a shot with the, with the old coworker? Yeah, old? I'll probably sleep there for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow. <laughs> you want to talk about low blow? That was a low blow. Uh, but no, so we're here. You were in Bloomington earlier in the week. Yeah, get the kids. I'm getting shadow banned by Instagram. Again? Because I did a tweet that said, I don't understand how some stadiums are half full and some are full and some restaurants you can have people and some you can't and mass and this. I said, the end of COVID ended now, not tomorrow, now. And that will get you shadow banned. Like the, the numbers... That pizza, whenever I do a college pizza review, it's a top performing because everyone talks about it. It had a million views on my story. A million. That's a lot. Uh, um, almost comparatively speaking, it has nothing on my main Instagram. It's, it's banned. Did you have someone look or you just I, I know. It, I can tell. Like, it, it had no comments in like a span of six hours. So what does Paul tell you? What does, what does Gaz tell you? Nothing of importance. He hasn't told me anything of importance of the past decade. Paul hasn't. <laughs> he honestly hasn't. There was laughter in the back. Paul hasn't said anything remotely important to this business in a decade. In a decade. Yeah. Since 2011. Yeah. That was the last time. The end of the blackout tour. <laughs> and then the only thing that's important is the 3 a.m. Hey, we're shut down. What do I do? I don't know. You're there. I can't help. There's nothing I can do from home. Correct. <laughs> um, 
Oh, that sucks. Would you post? You put that on Instagram too. I know it went it, pretty it, viral it, on Twitter. I mean, it had like sixteen thousand retweets last time I checked. Right. So all that. So you're telling me. What am I doing here? You're telling me. I have three hundred sixteen thousand views and eight hundred comments on that pizza review, and the one before it, which was a nothing review, has five hundred and thirty. And 918 comments, no way. But I always thought this was a continued, like a continued problem. Like I thought that you've. No, I think I got out of it. And then I even someone says like, if you mention COVID, you get like flagged. Well, that's like even if you post a story, even like whatever, that'll pop up that bar. Like find more information yeah, about COVID nineteen. I got yeah. fucking flagged. Well, what does that make you think? Stop saying shit like that, or like just. I'm not gonna let fucking Zuck, ugly Zuckerberg. I could push around the ring with him. Yeah. But if Zuckerberg wanted to break bread, you'd break it bread. It wasn't even that crazy of a thing I said. If Zuckerberg wanted to break bread, would I break bread? Yeah, I'd have to. You, I mean, yeah. That pretty I'd much. I'd probably fall asleep, but yeah, I'd have to. I don't think you would. You think he's an interesting guy? I, I don't. I think he's, he's so out there that you'd be entranced. I don't know. He seems like a loser. Well, I'm not denying that. I think he's a loser. How were the um, how were the NHL streams over the weekend with Chicklets and Elio? Good, 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 good. We got a big showdown coming down with the Islanders and Bruins. I think we're live streaming from Borelli's every game. It's like Marina, Feidelberg, Rear Admiral, Grinelli versus Frankie Borelli, Frankie Borelli Sr. And I maybe Sydney Esiason may come for reinforcements, but I, I mean Sydney's a nice, cute girl. She can't handle that. She's got dog show experience. She was a quiet little mouse during the dog show. But she still got his experience. Yeah, she was there, but she was mouse. She like, was a mouse. She got her taste of the big leagues, and she'll be back. We'll see. I'm I'm worried about Frankie, though. It looked like he almost died during one of those streams. He, like, like fainted. <laughs> yeah. Someone said his lips turned yeah. white. I don't think I'm going to be there for any of the streams. Why? Well, I'm here currently. The yes. first game Saturday. And then um, I'm going to Miami for like two weeks, people like me, I go, oh, Boondog will know because we have the Logan, the Logan Couture, the Logan Paul fight with Mayweather, which I'm part of the prize package. And then the weekend after that is the big like you, uh, TikTok fight thing, and all the guests for BFFs are going to be there. So rather than going back and forth, back and forth, I just rented a house for two weeks for these two events. I don't want to be in Miami in June. Yeah, you don't seem like you want to be there at all. No, I don't want to be there in June. So you're doing interviews, like you're just going to have like a like a. Media row type thing, and you're yeah, just be grabbing people way. on. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you like get ahead for BFFs. Well, I know that's why I'm going. That'll be nice. Yeah. And then, what are you doing for the? Are you walking out with him? I don't think we're walking out. I think we're going to the locker room beforehand, and then watch the fight. Did someone win yet? No, it's still going. Okay. Yeah. It's people still get in, or I thought, or it's or it's closed down. No, now. you can't enter the contest anymore. Okay, so the contest is done, but someone Correct. is about to win. That's gonna be a. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a couple weeks there. What about uh, the Preds debacle took over Twitter? It's just crazy that that becomes a thing. And, and by the way, I'm going to bet him tonight. I can bet him legally. I'm going to bet him because shout out to the Preds. So if you don't know, the Preds invited me to a hockey game. They're like, hey, Preds, saw you're in Nashville. Come to the game. Thank you. I can't make it. I'm not there. And the little crybabies and, and fucking snowflakes and hockey Twitter's the worst. They're like, oh, you're going to invite that trash to the game? Shut up. I I just wish I could grab these fucking blue checkmark fucking losers and, and drag them into a hockey locker room. It'd be like, do you know the people that you root for hate your guts? Like, hockey guys bust balls. They sit and talk about fucking chicks. And, like... They're as alpha and like broy as they get. And I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but if you don't like Barstool, you hate the people you're rooting for. That's just a fact. The fact that they can't put that together is like, dude, if you don't like me, stop watching hockey. I don't even understand how that happens. How this like faction of hockey Twitter started to exist. They're lunatics. <laughs> How? And they're like... They're lunatics. Are they the biggest lunatics of all I four? guess baseball Twitter is bad, too. Yeah. But hockey Twitter is... And then you have that same clown. I don't know her name. And I'm USA blocked today. from seeing her. So I can't... But someone showed me. She's like, oh, this is trash. She's the worst. It's honey. 
you got fired. You were the race and inclusion editor for the USA Today and got fired for being racist. I remember that. There was like a, the, the tragedy in Boulder yeah. before anyone knew details. Like, of course, it's an angry white man killing everybody. There's been some, it's, it really, it's like someone of Syrian descent, whether you're Caucasian. What, it's like, why you even bring, you're, you're the one bringing race into it. Fired. So how about you shut up? I respect the Preds for not deleting it. That's why I want to bet them tonight. Yeah. I respect that a lot. A, a lot of people would delete the fucking Bruins backpedaled when, oh, when yeah. we did the towel thing. Cam Neely's like, all right, shut up, Cam. You know you like us. Have a backbone. Have a spine. That's what enables these lunatics. Yeah. Because you show them like, oh, we don't want the smoke. Shout out. That's why I want to shout out to the Preds. Did not delete it. And that's why I'm going to put the fucking house. I think they play tonight versus Elios they do. Carolina. I, that's right. I don't like that. I got a nice future on Carolina with Elio. So. I, but I, 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 like I said, though, I do respect that from a Barcelona perspective. And guess what? It happened yesterday. Who's talking about it today? Nobody, and that's forgotten. how it goes. Yeah, 930, Preds at home. Hurricanes <laughs> lead series 3-2, playing for their lives. I'm going to put a bomb on the Predators. A whopper on the Predators yep. coming. Uh, no, you have to. You have to. So shout Show of solidarity, uh, I will say it publicly, as thank you to the Nashville Predators for not backing down to the woke snowflake pussy squad, I'm putting... Fifty thousand dollars on the Preds. Fifty G's. Fifty G's as a Predators. show of support because the big man upstairs roots for us. He always does because whenever shit hits the fan, something happens in our favor. Someone writes a hit piece, we sell for a billion. So the big man, if he sees that tweet, he's going to will the Predators to victory. Can the Can the Hurricanes win in Game Seven? I have no problem. With okay. That. Okay. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. So does Elio. Uh, so you're also in Nashville. So that's kind of how it started, right? Yeah, I did the boys. What I was surprised by that. That I was willing to do that? Yeah, because, that's like the nicest thing you've ever done. White Sox Dave works for this company. <laughs> Nate work. I mean, come on. It was a very nice gesture, though. But I'm, you, but I'm a team guy. If I can help the squad in any way, get views, if I think you're good, I'm there. They asked for me to come 100th episode. I flew in and I flew out. There is the biggest misconception. Eddie, what you just brought up is something that we used to, and I don't know how they'd feel now, that back when there was some controversy or ill will between me, Kevin, and Dan, they like, you only care about you, you only care about you, nobody else. There's no other company that has built as many stars. and Like, if it was just about me, I wouldn't have gone the path. I could have done just me in Boston and stayed there happily. Told, listen, I'm not saying that. I'm surprised you travel. That's a big step. I, because the bus is there. You got to be on the bus. Yeah, to you, do you, the you can't do the bus. if you Like, that show, Bussing with the Boys, is all about the bus. I knew I had to be on the bus. But, I, but, but hiring people is just like, yeah, do it. Send them this way, turn left, file paperwork. This is getting your ass on the plane. And I heard it was hot as fuck down there. It was, it was very hot. Sweating balls on a bus. It's no different than, like, what I think is good for the company. And I, the people are going to be like, the wild thing. I, I got on the plane to go do Trump because I thought it was good for the company because it gets eyeballs. This is like, I think they're talented. Get them eyeballs. Wallow and Gilly, I would go to Phil. That's why I had them on the show. Like, I, things that I think can help or I can help, I will do. And, yeah, and I'm not... Same thing. Like you sat in our fucking sweaty ass office for like, 100%. Th for like three hours. I wasn't doing that to be. Uh, I, you think I want to sit with you guys? No, no, no. no. But you think I want to do a snake draft? There's a fucking billion <laughs> degrees in here. White Sox Dave fucking smells. You think I want to do that? No. <laughs> who's who's taking more shots in this episode? White Sox Dave or Mantis? So far. I didn't take a shot at Mantis. Yeah, you did. You said he's gonna sleep at the fucking. Oh, I Field thought, I thought, I thought for, you said when I called him demented. For five days after. And I don't mean his mind's demented, his body's demented. Yeah. So how was it? How was what? Like, I was... The, the boys, they're the boys, good. Yeah. They're very funny. Totally agree. They're they're good. They've been, like, they've been on our shows and shit, too. They're they, very, very they good. Are. That's mm -hmm. why I'm... I, I won't go waste my... I won't go on Nate at night. That's a waste of my time and his time, to be you honest. You should go on Nate at why? night, Why? It's a total waste. That show's never going to... He has no talent for Nate's that. been in the sand for you since Unless the fucking Nate beginning of time. Unless Nate wears a mask... What's the point? I'm not going to waste my time on something that has no potential. Bustle and the boys are both very talented. Nate has no talent. That's how I make the decision. Nate's been in the sand with you since 
close to day one. Nate's a very good writer. World needs ditch diggers too, speaking of sand. He's just not good at Nate at night unless he wears the mask. All right, Nate has taken over White Sox. Dave and Mantis has taken the most. I haven't said anything negative show. about him. Well, under your circumstances, sure. Uh, so it went well. Good episode. I watched some of it. Seemed, seemed good. You said interesting comment. Five content people you would take to restart it. I mean, you took all the all the heavy hitters. I mean, who, who the only one that I saw some people be is like PFT. Yeah. I mean, it took, yeah. It was, well, I mean, who would you take? Who would you replace on that list? It, it's hard to argue. Anyone. If you were going to, if you're, I mean, you're just taking, it's a Royal Rumble or it's WrestleMania. You're taking the top. I mean, the two, the, there's three really. I guess you could argue maybe the Chicklets guys, but they're like two different. Here's the thing I think Dan is going to have a huge podcast, be successful no matter what. Now, PFT is super talented, and that, I mean, you, it's one thing to have a big podcast. It's another to have the biggest in sports, and they do. So I could see that argument. But, I mean, those are all heavyweights. Big time. Big time. I mean, speaking of which, I should have said at the top of the show, we're going to get to uh, Ryan Whitney. He, he recorded with him last week. Yep. So uh, that interview will be coming up. A couple more things, though, before we get to that. Uh, it sounds like Bryson, did you reach out to him? Is he going to be on the bag for you versus Brooks? I talked to him today. I talked on the phone to him today or DMs? On the phone. Talk to him and his agent today, and I'm trying to get this thing put together, and I don't know yet. I don't have a feel. Uh, my main thing to him was, like, I don't know Brooks, so I'm not ambushing. I'm not friends with Brooks. Yeah. Like the PMT guys are. I'm not. If you come with me, you come with me. I'll go. I, you, I'll make you look good, and we'll go to war, and you'll come out of this thing smelling like roses. But I don't know. It's a bigger thing than, like, you know, I've never talked to him either. What are you making that? But Brooks of? clearly likes you. Like he's he's doing this as a friendly match. A lot of people like me. I'm just doing it for the views. So you don't like if Brooks was like, you know, I don't want that guy anywhere near it. You still wouldn't give a fuck. You would still bring him out. If he said that, I know Bryson wouldn't do it. So it's a um, what do they say moot mute a moot, moot point moot. Why is See, this game on TV right now? Why would happen? Is something about to happen bad to me? No. <laughs> extra innings. I got the Davy uh, Davy Day Night Parlay plus eleven hundred. We're going to extras in a five five game. There you go, Padres Brewers. Um, okay, so he might be on the bag. He sounded interested, uh, and you said that's fall. That's coming up in the fall. I think not official. We're gunning for the Memorial Day Classic. I mean the Labor Day Classic. Okay. Literally on Labor Day. That'd be good. Yeah. But his face. I mean, that was that was a great clip. Hilarious. Uh, Did you know how that came out, though? The rumors? I, I don't know if it's public, so I'm not going to say it. Well, let's, let's say it. No, I can't because I don't know if it was told to me in confidence. I mean, I know they reshot it. You're saying someone like. I know how it came out, but I don't know if that's known. Just Well, thanks for tickling everybody's balls. Well, it may be known. But if it was told to me in a private con uh, a private conversation, call, you're not going to say it. Yeah. No. See if it see if it came out. If not, okay. And I know right. it's right because Big Cat confirmed it too. So Why was Brooks mad? It came out. I can't. I'm not going to speak on this issue. Okay. Edward. Okay. David. Um, why? Where are all these old pictures of you coming? I have from? no idea where that golf picture came from. It had to come from my parents, right? <laughs> it had to. If someone he DM'd him. God knows what my parents are doing. I don't yeah. know. How about your dad? He's like obsessed with the uh, the rats in Chicago. Did you see that? No. Yeah. Dad fell down. Did I tell you that? Yes. You told me. That we talked about it in the interview. How's he doing? He's better. Did you see the picture? No. Can you show me? It's brutal. Really? Yeah. Well, what's it's like? He's got like the George he's Bush. Shiner. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What did he hit? Like his face on like a stairs banister? Oh. He said he was trying to step over a crack. I didn't make fun of him for that statement. I don't understand what that means. Like you just whatever, but. Because he was really hurt. That's not good. No. But Who yeah. was he with? Himself. Well, it was, uh, not, not nothing broke or anything no, like he, that? No, he broke a couple of fingers. I think. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. You got to go out I there? Call him. I got to call him and make sure he's doing better. I haven't talked to him in a couple of days. Yeah, it'd be nice. Uh, but yeah, these old pictures are just firing out of everywhere. That one was pretty funny. I don't know what you said in the video and everyone was laughing. That was, I don't <laughs> remember what I said. That was from uh, Powder Puff. Okay. That was Powder Puff when I've told people it was the most intense 
sporting event I've ever been a part of. I've said that. I don't know what I said, but I rallied the troops. <laughs> they got a good laugh. Yeah. Good laugh. I, I fired them the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're like, you're just firing them out. People making fun of the bowl cut. A lot of stuff going on with you. Everybody had a bowl cut. Everybody had a bowl cut. It wasn't about the bowl cut in that picture. It was about my stats, which were spectacular. And then uh, last thing before we get into Ryan Whitney, uh, I, you know, I hate to bring this stuff up. No, you don't. Not, You're wearing the hat. Well, I knew this was coming. You what think do you I mean? don't know this is coming? Well, it just, you know, it looked like you were trying to steal your girlfriend's gum out of her mouth, something like that. There was, there was a picture of you guys pressing tongues, and uh, it was sent to me. If it's sent to me, there's nothing she I can do. She posted on her story. You probably I, follow her. She Listen, she asked permission. She's like, do you care if I post this? I said, no, go for it. You can't say no, though. You don't, I could say no. You don't have the gumption to say I, no. If I wanted to say no, I Eddie, I'd fucking say no. Eddie, she's a gorgeous girl, so I'm fucking putting my tongue against my girlfriend who's gorgeous his mouth. Whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I bought. I'm supporting the brand. That's I'm. I'm on a. I'm a. I'm a Silvana rider. So. Oh, you're I a got, Silvana uh, rider. Yeah, Silvana rider. So I got the. I miss her hat from the actual company, and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be be rocking this all weekend. Well, let's hope she doesn't fucking punch you in the nose. <laughs> you think she'll be mad? No. I'm a depends so, depends how you go about it. I'm a Silvana Ryder. She's an Aries. Wow, she's feisty. That was the caption on that pic. Does she get a little mad? Does she get really feisty with you? What do you mean feisty? Like I, I don't know the way you said Aries. I don't know what. I'm not a Zodiac guy. Yes, I don't know. It's two Aries. I'm an Aries as well. You're an Aries too. Yeah, get get on your uh, horoscope. Game, you man. read that shit. She fucking posted it. Dude, people, I, I only saw like a lady in the tramp thing and the bottom. It was all on that. It was all people on that. like are crazy about that shit. About what? The horoscopes. Yeah, yeah she's not. I've never noticed. No? That. No. People like yeah, look for birth certificates and shit. Uh, but yeah, you know, just updating. Nice picture. Again, gorgeous <laughs> girl. I'm lucky to be able to touch tongues with a gorgeous girl. Lucky. Um, okay, uh, let's talk about Black Rifle Coffee for a second here, and then we'll get to Ryan yeah, but Whitney. They had it in the studio, or uh, Indiana studio. What's that? We were at Edge Media Studios, which is nicer than our studios. <laughs> Pete. It really is. Um, <laughs> yeah, Black Rifle, veteran-owned coffee company, premium coffee. To people who love America, veteran CEO, founder Evan Hafer spent seven years on the ground overseas with U.S. Special Forces and, a, and as a CIA contractor. Uh, they import high-quality coffee beans from all over the world, roasted five days a week in facilities like Manchester, Tennessee, Salt Lake City, Utah. Team at Black Rifle Coffee continually researching and experiment with new roasting methods, coffee origins. The best way to enjoy Black Rifle Coffee is joining the coffee club. You get to pick your roast, how much, when you want it delivered to your door. And they take care of the rest. It's free to sign up. You get free shipping, discounts on partner brands, early access to new products, club exclusives. Go to blackrifle.com slash Dave. Use the code Dave today. Get the freshest coffee in America shipped to you. Boom. All right. Let's get to Ryan Whitney. So, we're Eddie, we're just doing an interview. And yeah. then, we'll go, what, 15, 20 minutes, uh, whatever? Yeah. 15, 20 minutes. What's up, Wet? What are you talking about, Eddie? 15, 20 minutes. What do you mean? You think we're only going to be in here for 15, 20 minutes? Well, we could, we could, it could go however long it wants. I don't know what you guys got to do. We could go fucking. Oh, Dave has fucking 10 pizza reviews today. He's the only guy that works in the company. He's the only guy that does anything do for do? anyone. He's the only guy what? who carries the float here. I mean, I got to do pizza reviews <laughs> in New Jersey, Jersey Shore. What are you doing? Are you sick dun, or dun, 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 dun. Is that the beginning of this show? That's Game of Thrones? Yeah, I got the tune wrong, but there is a song you guys use, isn't it? So what? what's up, Wit? What's going on? What, how did how did this start? How did you guys get into it again? What? How did you guys get into it? Are we going right now? Yeah, let's go. He came in, he had he had a chip on his shoulder. He came in, he was, I. you watched the film, he came in ready to go. I was told, hey, Dave's here, go say hey. I go, I haven't seen him, I'll go in and say hi. So I walk in, I actually am walking up to shake his hand and immediately- Do we have the clip? Do we have the clip? You could tell right off the bat that he, he was coming in to pick a fight. Well, no, because the clip if their clip goes before I went in, I was like, you oh, were, yeah, I got to go say hi to Dave. So you'll know I wasn't looking to pick a fight. No, you, and right I did away, watch the right clip. Dave, the first thing, I'm not clip. screaming. The first, I'm not screaming. The first You're not going to bait me into a scream the match. The first thing. Look at that. Look at that walk. Just like That's walking walk, just, to fight. Just crushing through this office. 
man, you were you are unbelievable. You, you no, these no, days. You there you go. There you go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I went in and the first word said, you fucking idiot. You usually never get videos wrong. You go, man, uh, you are. And you were both no, to chirp about troops. I was, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It. No, I know. It. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, exactly. So you started I wasn't fight. animosity. You I was like, man, you like soccer. You, no, no. And then no, you go, you're no, so embarrassing. No, no, I was just creating no, conversation. No, you were not. It was yeah, I was. Be a hello, how you doing? And immediately you were I go, like, man, oh, you man, love soccer. Yeah, that's you starting. That's you starting Man, you like soccer? Anyone who's listening right now knows that that was begun by you. Rewind it. Began, begun. No, Watch, I'm going to shake his hand, and immediately you hear, man, you, and I just went, all right, here we go, and I exploded. But the man you started Man you, it. that's crazy. Oh, hey, funny, soccer, man you. That's go. crazy. Like, you, what do you, you mean that's crazy? You, I knew what you're like. I knew what you're doing. What do you I knew you know wanted to go. Like? I was gonna, and I right away, I'm like, go. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is he trying to say I was too nice to troops? No. This fucking asshole yesterday talking to this guy, Clay Travis, I was like, and I exploded. So then it was game on. But you started that entire fight just like most of our fights. I never I begin them. The I only end them. Give me a break, Whitney. You came in. I said, man, you in. And then you go, you're so embarrassing lately. Yes, because I knew you were a minute. You're starting to chirp me, so I'm I getting ahead chirp. of you. It was the same thing. Chirp. You started to chirp. All the chirp was going to be is, man, you really love soccer, huh? Like that video I saw, it's like, th thank this guy for introducing me to the greatest game greatest in the history game. of the Soccer's world. Soccer's awesome. How long have you been watching soccer for? Right when troops started here. So like five minutes. Uh, yeah, I mean, but what are you going to do? you got to start at some so point. I've, I've learned more about I, soccer in five months I, than I, anyone in the history of soccer. I've never seen you so, like, <laughs> I owe it to this guy. He's like, introduced me to the greatest game in the... That's all I was going to say. And, and then that's you came what, in. And that's the crazy so thing. And that's the cra yeah, that's You're the crazy so, and thing. And then it was on. No, because that's the crazy thing. You were going to be like, man, I've never... I knew I knew you were like, yeah, oh, man, you're like say. kissing you're like kissing his ass. Like, I was that's be like, not man, you. what's up And then right away, I'm like, I was just on a train listening to this fucking clown buddy buddy up with a guy that he's been ripping on for 12 years I didn't dude. give a shit about Clay Travis dude, Eddie you're asked such for Clay a loser Travis. man there's videos out there of you losing your mind he steals my stick he's a no talent ass clown and then it's like hey man like how yeah let's, but let's put it this way you doing interviews and callers on Barstool Radio, when they start getting ridiculous, you hang up on them, you rip on them. Clay Travis said my law school buddies 15 times. You never made fun of them. You never did anything. It's I like, where are you? Who are you? No, 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 no. I wasn't because when I go after Clay Travis, he does something that angers me. I wasn't mad. Eddie's like, get him on the show, but I wasn't riled up. He didn't say anything recently that got me mad. So usually yeah, you're forever like what? Wh why I haven't talked to him. Clay Travis hasn't been on my radar screen forever. Clay Travis sold his company. He can't make a penny. My thing with Clay Travis is he was using me to make more money for himself. He's done. Clay Travis can't make a penny more but, based but, on but, me but, giving him publicity. But, but, but from what you said throughout the entire past, all the money he made is because of you. Correct. So why are you? And you but don't care done. anymore. You don't care anymore. Well, it's done. This is not the same, Dave. I fucking know, what are you Eddie. Talking it's about? not the same. <laughs> And Eddie, and as a diehard Barstool fan, listening to him talk to him, you were fucking sitting there. It was just like, what is this? Yeah, I was more like, interested Clay in my law school friend. He has more money than both of us. I, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even have a problem with Trey Cross. I don't know him, but I know him, and I consider him a friend, and I never, ever thought he'd fucking bow down and have like this. How nice, was I bowing you, down to Clay fucking Travis? You know how you were bowing down? Because it wasn't even a conversation like this with some animosity. It was just like, I hey, had Clay, no man, animosity. who do you think is going to win the SEC this year, dude? I got Tennessee. I no nice animosity. Bet. I know, but where you always have. But uh, when I have somebody on, he says something that'll cause me to freak out. I haven't thought about Clay Travis in six months to a year. And he's like, you want to get him on? Sure. We we're talking about the transaction that he did. Listen. And in that clip, did you say I looked like I gained a bunch of weight? Yeah. You have a picture with legit tits hanging out, buddy. I gained about seven pounds since you, I retired. So you, you did gain weight. Seven pounds since I retired. All right. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. But you're a prick. What, listen. You came in ready to fight. No, I didn't. That's yeah, you did. Thing. I never really Nobody want to goes... fight with you. I never really oh, want to fight with you. Give me a break, Whitney. Once it gets going, I enjoy going back and forth. I have a friend at home. People say, are you guys even friends? We're best friends because we give it to each other. I like you. We're buddies. I like giving it to you, but I like to start nice. Maybe let something organically happen. I walk in organically, and guns, guns are blazing. You're I fucking saw attacking the video. me. I and saw the video with you in, in, in uh, fucking troops. I've never seen you like so rosy what, like nice? this guy. You've never seen the, me friendly the, 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 to, over, a, to a fellow employee, co-employee? Overly nice. 
I just meeting a guy that I like, and I, I have, the, I have the ability. I have the ability to <laughs> fucking be mean on Twitter and then meet somebody and be nice. You're just a prick on Twitter nope. and in real life. Real guy, real guy, same. But this guy, you put your arm around him. This guy introduced me to the greatest game. That's all I was gonna say. And then you, you did. You're like the greatest game ever. Like it thank is. God, it, is. it, is. it was a little much. I'm like, oh, Whitney, oh, what a flower child. He's got like sunflowers growing out of his ears. Here, 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 here it is. What a flower child. Be being nice to a guy that you work with, that you, you don't never think met. that was what a flower. Look child. at, I should, you know what I should have done. You, you know what I should have done. Best game ever. And, and then I that also I was gonna bust your balls a little. You're like you're an embarrassment. And then it was on. I know because once I realized Clay, you, you just said it. He just said it. He goes, I was gonna bust your balls a little. Who started the argument? Yeah, but you it wasn't a it. real bust the balls. You just put your foot in your mouth. No, I didn't. You, you were about to bust balls, and I said, all right, there's game on. Boom. There's and you different wouldn't even stand levels up. of bust. He sat down like this. He's like, what do you mean I didn't you're, stand up? You're, what do you, what you're do you, too what, nice what, to tropes. What do you want it to be? Fucking I, was Earl? I was just standing over. You want it to be Earl uh, Weaver, like an umpire in a fucking, I always sit in the chair. I'm not, you don't, you don't. Yeah, if I, I got up, that would have been a credit to you. No, no. You me, can't get me, me out of my me, chair. Me standing up and just you towering over about? you. Standing I up, tower I'm sitting, over him if we are standing yeah, up. That's the best part is a double tower. I don't over. think that you get like kudos for towering over somebody when someone's standing and in their chair. I think I get kudos though if you stood up and I was still towering yeah, over you. Yeah, but that didn't happen, did it? No. I don't understand what happened. You guys were cool at Greek Town in Detroit. You guys bonded over. I like over. Whitney. Yeah, you guys. Frank the Tank put the he he, he stole your cu your cup holder. You guys bonded over there. I like Whitney. That? Time out. I, I, I didn't steal his cup holder. No, I have Frank no problem. Tank like, did. hold on. And I think everyone knows that. I th like I thought it was funny. I wasn't at the end of it. I didn't have one ounce of like. Oh, oh yeah. um, people thought we were mad. No, I don't think yeah. so. Well, he's no. like you, I thought you liked Whitney. No, well, well, no, I'm saying like you guys have been on a good foot this in 2021. But that's no different. Guys... I actually like having somebody that can scream that out a little bit. That was a good bit. foot. Like I left. Yeah, I was like, no, I know. I, you know what I did? I walked out. I said something else about him being short over near the other <laughs> desks, and then I was like, ah, I fucking love that guy. So I mean, I'm into it, but I just don't like doing it right off the get. -go. Well, you like, no, Jesus no, you did. You, Christ, you, can because, we say hello? Listen, Ask how my kids. Listen, doing. I don't give a fuck about it. No, you don't. That's doing. why you're a prick. But it, it's like nobody real. I, I'm honest. Like nobody here cares how your kids doing. They uh, that's it. that's not true. Who cares? That's not Who true. Cares? Erica, ah. she's nice enough to ask. Well, about, there's about a my, difference about between my, about etiquette. my family a lot. Who big a cat. Big cat because well, he, he has, has a family, kids. right? Kevin. So right. who here? Who here? I just named three no, in no, no, point no, no, three no, seconds. No, no, no. That's a dummy. social norm. Just because they have kids, they get to ask, and you do that whole dance. I was, so you no don't think they truly fuck. care? All right, no. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't truly no, care about no. anyone else either. Then, do you truly care about Kevin's kids? Um, I don't know them, but exactly. I hope I hope, they're, right. do I hope they're doing well. well no, I hope they're doing well. I, I, listen, I hope their kids are doing well. Nobody, what a shocking. No, nobody wants them to here. die, but nobody's like you. You're not sitting Jesus at home being like, Christ, man. I hope Kevin's kids are doing okay. No, but when I see a guy that I'm friendly with, I yeah, haven't seen forever. Right. Hey, how's your family yeah, doing, right. buddy? Yeah, and I exactly. mean it when I ask it. No, you don't. Whereas you're like, no, you don't make any money for the company. No, you don't. Fuck you. You, you don't. You don't care about the kids. <laughs> I didn't ask that, but here's the thing: you what you can do a general like, oh man, you really fucking became the biggest soccer fan versus you're an embarrassment, and then it was on. But I'm fine with it. I like yelling back and forth. Listen, Whitney, remember when we went all through the shit with when I like basically in the summer? I'm like, I'm getting out of. This guy called me. He's like, I'd fire everybody. He literally got on the phone. He's like, fuck everybody. Like, are these people crazy? Like, I, you should just fire everybody. So like, I get Whitney. I love. He's. But we, that's how I am. There's people around here you can't yell at because they'll go into a turtle shell and fucking, you know, Cry Nate, Nate will run to HR. No. Have you guys you yell it at over Nate after like that. that? He's going to HR. No, but Nate took a ricochet shot. Well, I guess I Well, that was shot. a ricochet no, shot. Dana, Dana, Dana texted me and said, hey, if Nate gets annoying tonight on the stream, you got to call him Paul. And <laughs> so I said. <laughs> I told Nate I got the text. It was like he's, he's, he's like he got hit by a bus. He's like Dana said that. Dana why, B. Yeah, I go. Why am I Paul? And I go. I think, I think because Paul's the most annoying thing in the world. Well, I didn't know Dana B was like <laughs> taking shots. At. I know, and that's why Nate was like he was so taken aback. He's like Dana B's coming at. Me. I like Nate, but Nate will go to HR on your head. Really? Yeah, he would. Maybe not HR, but he complains. I think Nate can kind of take. No, it. he can't. No, he can't. Has that been done? Has he gone to Has HR? He gone to HR? I, what, I know during the noogie gate, he wasn't happy that I was getting noogied. Well, he started it. I know. Trust me, that doesn't matter here. That world doesn't matter here. If you start it, no, no, that that world doesn't matter here. That that since, since when? Have you not been paying attention to my life for the last twenty years? <laughs> like that that well, rule speaking, that, that rule does not life. apply here. 
I've been following this guy since the beginning of all this. The first time I saw him, Eddie, I'm in. <laughs> you... So I'm a fan. I'm a fan of. The, I'm a fan of the website at this point. I've been reading it for a while, and his old office is in Lower Mills. It's like Milton Dorchester Line. I live in Milton now, so I'm like. I knew I was like, oh, that's where the barstool office is. So one day I'm like, there he is, dude. This fucking guy. He's carrying a French baguette with an enormous bag from Panera Bread. <laughs> I'm in my sick Mercedes. He's still driving an Astro van. He's walking. I go, Portno, you pigeon. He goes like this. <laughs> well, yeah, people are hacking. He didn't know where it came from. He didn't know where it came from. He had a starfish painting on. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I used to carry my box fan back and forth. I didn't have AC. Also, I think the first time we actually talked was uh, or on, it was on Twitter. I think. Twitter was we did the goalie challenge with JVR. And oh, and I caught a ricochet shot. You know, yeah, that was the first. So JVR was the first goalie challenge we ever did. And we did it. And then at the end, we're like, who should we get next? Are there anybody? We didn't know anybody, really. And I think Feidelberg was like, why don't you get Whitney? No, JVR no, said JVR, JVR, JVR. And I was like, is he even in the league anymore? Like, we need guys that, like. <laughs> I was in, like, are- the middle of a six-year contract. I'm like, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it's been forever. But, that no, yesterday wasn't. There was no. Sometimes. I haven't yelled in anger. Well, no. Who did I yell in anger about? I did this like three weeks ago, but I was yelling to myself. At, oh, about someone oh, else? Us. Dukes. Oh, Dukes. Yeah. Who's Dukes? He's some moron here who, like, <laughs> with the gambling Sorry, stuff Dukes. that we do, we have our lanes that you can. He basically said something, you know, if you lose a bet, it's okay because you can just commit suicide. He did. On, on social media? Yeah. <laughs> Something to that effect. That's Gas's guy, no? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ga- you, how much responsibility do you think he took for it? Zero. So Maybe I- it becomes a one straight company. Gas. He got suspended. <laughs> did? Yeah. Sussy. So he got like a <laughs> four. He got five thousand dollars fine and a ten game sussy. He did. He he, he got like a a, a month suspension for that. I was just screaming in my office because I can't because yell Because that can't get the gambling company. Like, yeah, that's fucking The people bad. who hate us clip it. So we saw it. He's I, the Chrissy Teigen of Barstool Sportsbook. But what do you, what do, you do when he comes in? I, I'm like, what are you doing? And he just looked at me. I, I never talked to him. He goes, I'm just dumb. What do you say to that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're right. kind of like, man, that's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> He looked me directly. I'm just, I'm just so dumb. But part like of that is like tears in his eyes. But the pressure here to like make a good... What is yeah, it? Headline. Yeah, like it, is, yeah, it is a little yeah, bit like yeah, you, you yeah, gotta yeah. fucking have a good headline. You're always but trying new things. But there's that's no a other aggressive. company though that would give like the keys to a big social account to a kid who's been here for two weeks. But Gaz will. Gaz will. What? Who's gonna do it when he's in Fagawi. at Fagawi? Fagawi's opening. Like, he's yeah, I know. So he doesn't want to be on social media. So give it to the kid who's been here for one minute and let him take the company down. And then, and then I get you know the the Jordan shrug thing from the guy. Like, oh. Like, what are you gonna do? Ga- Gazel, Gazel, give the bouncer control of his phone, social media, just to cut the line at the straight one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. But no, there was no ain't like when we're going back and forth. Is zero. Like, I, what? Well, what about the promotion stuff, Whitney? I, I, I'm, that was I'm, real. I was real. That was that actually phone call was kind of weird because I'll I'll give you my version. I got, uh, you texted me. So he texted me. I don't even want to go back. And he's like. Maybe do you remember what you said? Maybe start doing something to earn the fucking equity yes, I gave something you, like, to that something effect. that nature. And I was just like, "This motherfucker!" I was like, I "Fucking <laughs> our podcast is one of the big dogs there. We're making him money. He's coming after me. What the fuck?" So I wrote back, "Take it away if you don't think I'm doing enough." And he writes, "Okay, actually, I don't know if we can. I'm pretty sure it's like in your name legally and shit." It was. So I was like, whatever. So sure as shit, after like he's, you know, you don't talk to him. They're very, you know, talking to him. It's just, it ends quickly. There's no like, hey, how you doing? No goodbye. It's just, it's so a it's great, over. it's a perfect golf swing. So it's no over. Wasted motion. And um, I was. Yeah, like, he doesn't even like say the and stuff. No, he yeah, just and like, and cuts like, out words. That's like, like Trump. What he said. He, he shortened that guy's name to save breath. <laughs> yes, that's what you do. <laughs> so he says, um, so it's over, and I'm like. Fuck! If anyone would really take this away, he probably might like take it away because I just told him to take away all my fucking oh, stock I would. options. I was going and then to I go find out. He calls Erica right away. Hey, how do we get rid of Whitney's stock <laughs> options? She's like, I think he already owns them. So my thing was, once I took a, a step back, I do have a lot of respect for him because, in a sense, you could say what you want. He's not like my boss, but he kind of is my boss. You know, you know what I'm saying. Yep. So I was like. 
fuck, dude, he gave me these stock, like very appreciative. So I did have to start to do more. So I realized in the end I was wrong and he was right. But to just get the text, not it's just like it's just like oh, it was the same thing. Like send me a text, hey Ryan, and then hit me with the fucking hammer time. But right away <laughs> he's coming at me, and for about forty five minutes I'm like. Did I just lose all that stock and bad <laughs> shit? Biz, Biz kind of did the same thing. He freaked. And then oh, he like did? A little. And then like 20 minutes later, he's like, you're right. He's like, mm -hmm. like what can we do? Because they, right. they weren't doing anything. We weren't doing it. And then once it, after the conversation, it was like night and day. Like, And it makes a big difference. But yeah, I don't lead in. I don't, I don't soften what I'm about to say, basically. It's just like, okay, well, I, I forget what, why I... I think you already own it legally and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was. It's hard. We talked about it on the show, Eddie. That's what yeah, yeah, yeah. sparked it. So a lot of the stuff we talk about on this ends up getting follow up and people asking. And I mean, it was true. That's how I felt. It wasn't mad, but he did the. No, thing. you're right. He was right. What right. are you gonna say? Sometimes you gotta say, "Hey, I'm dumb." Like the kid who fucked up. <laughs> and then you came to Michigan for the Super Bowl contest. And so. then I came to Michigan, and that fucking story it gets better and better. So I've truly never asked this guy for one thing. Really? Like, I was trying to think about it. I asked him for one thing. My brother-in-law wanted to get into the big party, <laughs> the big, huge party in Tampa. And he had two buddies with him. And he's like, hey, Ryan, he doesn't ask me for anything either with, like, bars. So he's like, hey, I'm down in Tampa. Can me and my two buddies go? I was like, yeah, I don't think Dave will care. And I text him. And he actually got back. And he's like, yeah, no problem. So I go to bed early that night, 1030. I have 14 missed calls. My brother-in-law, not on the list, couldn't get into the party. <laughs> He oh, was, no. time out. They were meeting girls there. They were having gonna, it was gonna be the biggest night of their lives. They're like twenty two, and Dave didn't fucking put his name that, on the that, list. That's wildly <laughs> no. incorrect. Now they didn't get in. They were on the list. I didn't go. I I got like sick. We had rough and rowdy, so I wasn't there. So I wasn't there to manage the list. I got a thousand people who were on that list at that party. In all of them, when they texted me, I called literally the owners of Eleven who were doing it. I'm like, you go out front, get these people in. They're supposed to be in. I never got a call or anything. I didn't know they didn't get in till it was over. But that happened to everybody I put on the list, not just these guys. And it was a select group. But if somebody was supposed to be in that party, I got contacted. I literally got them walked in instantly. I never knew. Girls. <clears throat> no. Hey, second, part of the, second part of the story, Eddie. So he calls me and he's like, hey, do you want to do this? And now I, I said to him, I was like, hey, invite me to all the gambling stuff because I do want to start. To <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, no. About this. So this fucking guy. The chat? So I'm in Jupiter. We rented a house down there. And he's like, hey, uh, if you come to Detroit, just drive over to Tampa. You could take the private jet with me and fly home. I'm like, actually, that's great, dude. Awesome. So I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. I packed. And then the night before. This girl's like, hey, I got you your flight out of Jupiter Airport, West Palm. I was like, oh, no, I'm driving to Tampa in like 10 hours to go take the jet. He's like, no, Dave's gone. He actually never went there. There's no jet ride anymore. I got sick. I didn't go I'm to the like, party. I wasn't in piece I, of shit. I, but I, again, he's making him look. I said, you don't have to go. I'm telling like, the if truth. You don't, if, yeah, but I said, I'm like, if you don't want to go, I get it. If you don't want to fly, like, fucking. Eddie, commercial. how would that have gone? <laughs> well, Everyone that listening, had I not thought. gone after the original <laughs> beef when I said, take away my stock, he would have been at that live stream. He wouldn't even have cared that it wasn't, the gambling wasn't working at the beginning. Like, and Whitney doesn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> this tall motherfucker. Ryan's very smart. He's been around forever. He knows I that know. everything that you say and do is going to be held like basically like asking for the tickets for your brother. Like that's going to be held yeah, over you your have head. To, uh, how many like, times? I, well, I haven't mentioned the tickets. That was because fine. you didn't get him the tickets. <laughs> Listen, he's asked for one. Let's not go apples to apples but, but it's, here. It's like you know when Kevin but, Kevin Hayes I, he gave you ten dollars to get into the chicken box. Well, you time hear out, about that? Time out. Time out. For Kevin Hayes, ten years. Kevin K Hayes got kicked out of the chicken box and had to text oh, me to get Brewery. back in. Cisco so Brewery. that's something that, yeah. You're done. You're done. Well, I mean. For the rest of Kevin Hayes, Kevin Hayes is going to be in a nursing home. Dave's going to be like, remember when I had to you're get telling, you back in the box? You're, you're telling me <laughs> if, if I got kicked out of the chicken box and texted you to get me back I would in? Be, I would be the happiest man. Yeah. Alive. I would no, have no. it on Instagram. I'd make an Instagram public account just to just to talk about right, that. I mean, you can't. He, he That was gold. I mean, that the fact that that happened, he couldn't get back in was everything i needed and he needed like 10 bucks to like grease the door man to get back in so that <laughs> was like that was perfect for me but no you know there's there's a couple people him being one that you can still go back and forth with i mean troops will yell at you i don't know him that well but i've known him forever 
Like uh, Bubbly Gang would go back and forth. Kirk, was, Kirk will go back and forth. Kirk, Kirk is good at going back and forth. I like going on. I went on his show once. I'm going to try to do it more. His co- producer quit though. Uh, well, he, who else goes back and forth with you? Um, I mean, it's people who, like like, the, like uh, Dan will, but you guys yeah, don't really do right, it anymore. Well, well, uh, it's the people who have been here the longest. Like we have new people who I barely know and barely talk to. They're not going to go back and forth. The people who have been around for decades now they don't give a fuck well eddie here's the thing like people say like, oh nobody talks to him like that i'm like dude this guy i fucking met this guy if this if that fan hadn't come up to him and been like i'm gonna put it on the internet for you he'd be selling insurance driving the fucking astro van still like i know deep down who he is what and so I'm not mean? afraid of him. I'm what, not gonna. I'm not gonna count. I'm not what gonna. What does that even mean? It's just Deep like everyone's so like afraid of you, and you're just like, I'm like this fucking guy. He's he's a peasant. He's that, a pigeon. That's everybody in the history of Earth. What do you mean deep down? You know who it's like. I, we've known each other for fucking ever. Twenty years. So obviously comes in, but I mean that that he was ready to go. He he came in. The gloves came off as he was walking in. And he's like, you started it. Well, I saw your gloves coming off somebody the second wrote, you came in the door. Somebody wrote on Twitter they had to give a glove tap before they stretched. <laughs> yeah. We were like, <laughs> yeah, that's literally what it was. I could see the and then without seeing it, the way he came into the office with a camera. On, he listen. I had been there all day. If you just are coming in to be like, hey, what's up? You don't have a camera trailing you and your gloves aren't coming off. He was coming in ready to go. You you wanted the action, Wit. Like, you you had a camera. He was walking in like he was coming into a prize fight. I told you at the (laughs) beginning. I don't know how many times you're trying to get me to change my story. I went in to say hello. I said to the camera guy, I got to go say hello. And right when I heard him say, and you or you love, I was like, ah. So, so So yes, I was on edge. Yeah. yeah. It was basically like a, yeah. I'm I'm sitting in my office and I see this. Minding my own business, he was just going to say. The guy, like, he looks like, uh, you know, when Mel Gibson sees the alien walk by on on signs, he's coming in tall, (laughs) little hunched over. Over, and like the cameras followed him behind. It's like, all right, I guess we're gonna go. It's like yeah. 10 a.m. But you know, here we go. And you know who I ended up being? I ended up being Joaquin Phoenix batting that fucking <laughs> yeah, alien right. to bed right at the end of the movie, pouring water and on people, him. People, everyone, like Hank retweets it. Obviously, like, well, Hank, Hank, right now, no, he's, he's down uh, bad. He, I mean, Situate is. What are you gonna step in for Situate here with? Well, he's gonna stop playing ping pong. Yeah, that's the thing. I would, I would probably stop and playing. and probably move his seat. Like, he sits right next to Jake. And the way, the worst part is, though Jake keeps trying to be like, no, it's just sportsmanship. It makes a thousand times worse. He's saying that he's not rubbing it in? Yes. He, he's stepping over and putting no, his I know. balls in his face. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. It's horrific. It's truly horrific. Situate, don't come after Situate, Eddie. Fuck. Well, I, I, it's I, you got to do something. That's what, what I'm saying. I'm it's, not playing ping pong. What do you want me to do? That's by, by the, the way, that, little sass is from Duxbury. In. That's, by the way, one of the first things. Hank, an early Hank story. He was trying to get me playing some wiffle ball tournament in Situate. And and he's like, hey, will you play this weekend? I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, it's a wiffle ball tournament. Whitney's on the team. Will you play in it? And I'm like, what? And then I asked Whitney. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Hank was trying to like put together this fucking wiffle you didn't, ball tournament. He didn't really ask me. He wrote me on Twitter, hey, you want to carpool down together? I was like, dude, what are you talking about? I'm not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> it was early Hank. When Dave's like, still- I'll pick you up. I'll get coffee. No, What's not your order? Me. What are you fucking talking about? I was like, I do know. I thought you meant Hank said that. I was never playing this situate <laughs> wiffle ball fucking tournament. <laughs> the spit or whatever the fuck it is. I'm still thinking about you carrying a box fan into the office. Oh, right? every day this guy at the baguette. <laughs> Devlin was uh, Dave for Halloween and did that costume with the Yeah, with I the did. Fan. We, it was so fucking hot. And I remember you wrote me your like. Hey, when are you going to start coming and work for me? And I was like, fuck. I was like, what would I do? Well, and, and you go, I don't know. <laughs> but I was like, I, that's when I was like, oh, man, maybe I'll, I'll, work for, I'll work for them someday. But the whole time I was like, what am I going to do? And he's like, dude, I don't decide what you do. Figure it out. But you can come anytime. <laughs> well, you for a while were like, I want to work. And then we had one real conversation. And he's like, well, can I still golf like 300 days a year? It's like, I don't know. That only leaves like five seconds of work. He's like, well, I got to golf. I, by the way. Hockey guy, what's going on? You got a tennis elbow? Oh, dude, it's a nightmare. I don't even want to talk about it. It's so bad. You know what? It sounds ridiculous. It, I go like this. It hurts. Oh, it's tough. That, tennis that kills. I've had that, kills that kills. I'm going through it. Anyways, Are tennis you, elbow's the worst. It's kind of soft. It's no, it's crazy. I know I sound soft. I look well, soft. I am soft. But in the end, I had no idea how bad tennis elbow could be. Anyone who's had it listening knows. They got to change that name. I know. There's golfer's elbow, too, and I didn't even get that one. The only, you know what, your your only low point 
that you've had here, here and you go. know what it is. It's it's the Riggs thing. I mean, I don't know how you call it a low point, dude. My whole thing with that from the beginning was, let's he he called me out. Do to you play. still hate him? No, not at all. Actually, what he's doing now is is great. With because the, you hated him, hated him for a little while. <laughs> I mean, when I say real hate, like no, like fucking I, I couldn't, hated him. I couldn't. There was nothing I could do. It was but like, here's he, here's the thing. He had he had challenged me first. So if you like challenge somebody to an arm wrestling match, well then you don't get to like start holding their arm down here. So he challenges me to the match, and then he's like. Oh, but I need shots. I was like, so right away, and you know what I'm saying. It's like, oh, so I'm better than you? Like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like, why would we play a match if you're saying, like, if you're going to call me out to play a match, let's play straight up. He's like, no, I need strokes. I'm like, well, this is already stupid. Like, you just admitted I'm better. What the fuck's the point? So then well, I was, I, I, was mean, I will well, say golf's a little, because they know, do have that handicap. I know, but if it was just like, if you're, if I called him out, I said at the beginning, if I called you out, yeah, we're doing shots. You were then like, yeah, I'll play you, but you got to give me shots. It's like, what kind of match is that? That's not like, I'm better than you. Like you got to you're admitting it right away. What's the point? So, either way, I was still down. We we're going to do the match. And then the whole way the thing broke down and <laughs> when I lied is when I knew it was going to be a, a little bit of a dark hole. When I didn't include the fact that I had brought up what if I lose this amateur status for this tournament? And then it was like game on. And then I had to deal with Riggs and Dave. But then when Riggs said he would fucking play in a match against him instead of a USGA event and he does a golf podcast, I decided I'm going to hate this kid for the rest of my life. I don't, but at that time, I've never hated someone at this company more. Yeah, he really fucking hated him. Dave's like, no, we'll do the match later. I was like, no, 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 no. I hate him. Yeah, I gave up on it. It's like he, he, he put a flag. He's like, I will not like talk to him i won't be in the room with him i won't golf with him i won't do it like he he's dead like don't ask me to do anything with rigs yeah those were heated barstool radio so those barstool that. radios are unreal i remember the one <laughs> the one my son is that was the one screaming no that, that that was the move the movie theater was when the next day we had like the next day follow-up where other stuff broke but the first the first that was when that shit really went down with me saying that like uh, not including that I had reached out to the USJ. Yeah. Not me, but the guy I know. And um, But the first time, my son was crying. And my wife doesn't watch or listen to anything Barstool. She doesn't really know anything. But somebody sent her like, is this rider crying in the back? And she's like, what the fuck were you doing? I was like, I pulled over to BC High. I wasn't driving. I wasn't driving. He was just, if we were in park, she's like, you were talking about, you said suck my dick, Dave, with rider in the car. <laughs> So I remember saying, I, I think I texted him or said on Barstool Radio, I said, I got to take like a two month like content break here. This is getting, I'm getting a little o o overwhelmed. Yeah. It is a self reflection. You but, think Dave's going to beat Brooks? No. But I fucking said there was no chance he was going to do what he did at Shinnecock, but he had all the mulligans. I didn't, I was way wrong on that one when you won the US Open, but now with no mulligans, he's like just way better than you. Righty. No, lefty. Well, how do you know that? Because look at his swing. Yeah, but it, he he you could have a swing lefty. He may hit the ball far. It may be a problem because he may be going. He, I don't think he's gonna be able to control it. I just and and if I play, oh, and you could control your no, ball. No, no, no. But if I can, I, I can get myself to break a hundred if I practice. I know. I think he. But your match is like in a month, isn't it? No, I think we're doing it like October or something. Oh, nice. Yeah. Can I be on the announcement call for that? Yeah, we probably need that. We're setting it up now. He wants to do like, from what I've gathered, like a full live broadcast. Yeah, yeah. We have to. Me so, and Big Cat uh -oh. maybe walking Big down. Big Cat's on his bag. Big Cat's on Brooks' yeah. bag. Yeah, it's Big Cat and PFT. PFT on his bag. Oh, and you have Frankie. Frankie? Yeah. All right, let's take a quick break here from this interview with Ryan Whitney, and let's talk about Trifecta Nutrition, Dave. What is this ad all about? It's Trifecta Nutrition. Oh, is it talking about you looking good naked or something? Is that they like to do their personable? What's wrong? I'm not reading this ad. Why? does it say, I, I, Let me take a look. I'll read it for you. Oh, okay. When your girlfriend is a 9.4... And you're at 7.6. You know that your body has to be perfect, perfect, so I eat trifecta. Who's writing these ads? I don't know. I don't know. Who? Yeah, he's... He's in charge of them. Stephen Shea is always... He catches the brunt of everything. Are you going to text him? I'm just going to ask him who's writing these trifecta ads. That's all. <laughs> um, abs are made in the kitchen, but don't have time to spend... Hours meal prepping every week. Go to trifectanutrition.com. It's best. It's the best meal prep on earth. They send you pre prep meals every week so you can get into the best shape of your life. Trifecta makes eating healthy not suck. All of Trifecta's meals are backed by Nutrition Science, so they taste amazing. If you want to get in on this, they have a great offer. What's the offer, Dave? 40% off 
So make sure you use the code Dave when you buy or go to trifectanutrition.com slash Dave. <laughs> I, I, I didn't even see that. To be honest, with are you, you writing the ads? I, I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, if there's an ad problem, it's on Chia. You know that. It's on Chia. It's not on me. So the thing is, you're awful at golf. He he's probably like a 15 handicap at golf, and you're what? Like a, you mean lefty? Lefty. I mean he. he I'm probably I don't, like dude, a he knew there was a drive. He hit it 300 yards. Yeah, but yeah. I, he had a 300 yard drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've asked him every single time. It's like how how many takes did that take? He's like a lot. So if you hit it 300, but you're out of bounds, what good does that do? I know, but you hit it 200 and you're out of bounds. So it's I mean, I hit it, yeah, I mean, you're sounding like you didn't want. I, I hit it like probably like 240. Oh, sorry, 40 yards off. I mean, I, I mean, if it's out of, of bounds, it's out of bounds. That's all I'm saying. It's like, but no, I mean, if you get mul if you get if you I'm could get a get mulligan, so it's just a straight up match, yeah. match play or stroke match. play it has to be match because what's the point? Yeah, that I could know, get to like so already gets to 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think you can, but like I said, I, I, I actually said there was zero chance he was going to do that at Shinnecock, and that was ridiculous what happened there. I mean, that He was also had moment. fucking Za running around the safari getting 45 balls a hole. It was like he had a team with that, him. That, that was simple. That was easy. Listen, I, I can golf if I play it. Even that, I hadn't played in forever. I knew Mulligan's like, well, I can if you can hit a ball far, that, that was never in doubt. Far enough where, and that's why I said to him. Remember some of the carries, though, were like two sets. Like, how did you even get the ball over? Wasn't there a couple holes that you? That had? was the only thing that people thought could stop me. But no, I I can hit a golf ball like two fifty. Yeah. yeah, there's no such thing as a carry over two fifty. I said that to him for this. It's like we can't play, play a course. something that there's one shot. I physic. Although I guess with match, you guys should try match. to play a course that's actually wide open. So even though if you spray it, you're in another fairway. So it's not like. Well, no, I think that helps screwed. him. Oh, because he's further. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. So. so Dave wants a bowling alley of a golf course. I do. Kepka lefty. Yeah, I do. Dave will be hitting putter off the tee. I do. <laughs> I have a huge issue. Like I, I see my spit when I talk here because of the lights. Does this happen to you? No, I don't spit. Fuck. I try not to spit. By I the way, know. what is Biz on? Like, is he on drugs? Dude, I've had so many <laughs> messages. What is Biz on? He's dead sober. Well, he's having drinks. But I was like, once I saw that home. <laughs> Oh, who did that caption? The Home Alone one. That was, I that was think a that great was, caption. Uh, Millmore. <laughs> Millmore? Oh, my God. But Biz is on nothing. Everyone wrote me. How much, Like, all the comments, how much coke's he on? I'm like, he's not on any. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. He's just a fucking animal. What do you think? You Do you love the, uh, Hockey Dave? Me? No, Whitney. The, you know, the Pucks oh, and Deep. Oh, playoffs? Yeah, it was yeah. funny. Yeah, was, yeah, when, he, when he called, uh, <laughs> you were talking to Heinen and you called him something else. That was that was a time. good that, that was good that was the peak of hockey day. They Bruins let me into the locker room, <laughs> and I just was talking like I didn't realize. So in the NHL locker rooms, at least the Bruins, they have their names up, but for some reason they the guys don't stand in front of the yeah. name plates. <laughs> so for me, I don't know any of them. So I'm just calling them what, naturally what you would think, like Jake DeBrus. The kid was in front of Jake DeBrus. I'm like, hey Jake, and I'm interviewing. He's like, oh. at the end, he's like. I'm, he didn't even say it. I don't think. I don't think I knew I had the wrong guy till people watched. Like, you yeah, got he the never wrong told guy. you. He, no, he 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 goes. No, that's not me. But I scored tonight too. I think Dave was talking. To the head coach Cassidy thought it was Chara. He's like, so Z, <laughs> talk to me about the defense plan tonight. <laughs> and he's got a credential. <laughs> and the thing is, all the Bruins like know me, so I think they kind of know like that I wasn't even joking, but they know that I also don't really know hockey. Oh, fuck. people fall for that shit every. Yeah, it's it's uh. I start watching. I, I've had a hard time with sports since the fans. It's good to see him back. It changes everything watching. Yeah, with the no fans, I, even going last night, because a lot of the buildings are getting close to 50%. Yeah. But you could. it looks like they're packed on TV. It changes everything. And then they shot over to Toronto, Montreal. You're like, oh, same thing as the bubble, just because, you know, Ontario's a mess. I'm like, this is so brutal. I'm with you on that. It, it, it just doesn't feel real if there's no fans. To me, yeah, especially I, that one, we should have fans. That was scary. What happened to Tavares? He looked like he yeah, was that was fucked, fucked up. up. That was fucked up. And then you know what? Frank the Tank sitting there and compared it to the uh, Pilar getting hit in the face by a baseball. Well, Frank sounds on planet. But I, when, I know Frank, the guy was talking in a press conference with a bloody nose. Tavares is knocked out cold on a stretcher. He's like, I guess it wasn't exactly a good and a good <laughs> correlation. That, that moment when Biz was going crazy and Frank's just like my soda. My soda I fell. Kicked it, I kicked it over. <laughs> yeah. And they turned around. He was, he was fucking Yoke. Whitney kicked over my soda. <laughs> and all lucky. celebrations stopped. <laughs> you're, you're lucky that Yokozuno you. I said, I go, Jack Mack, will you get him a soda for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything came to a screeching halt. That, there's some things you don't do. Frank's 
fucking soda. You don't kick it over. You, you on better a go get him a twelve well, so pack Frank before you said, leave. Frank said he's had a sip of alcohol ten times in his life, and last night. If Nylander scored once more, because we put the Swedish hat on his head, Nylander scored like we called. And then if it happened again, he was going to do a shot of Pink Whitney, but Nylander did not score. So we had him drinking oh. if we could. He'd get wrecked off Pink Whitney. I'm that would be interesting. Other, are you guys still doing all your hard? That's the only other fight we got in. And that was Whitney related, too. Because you other guys fight? wanted to do like, y y you were branching into like golf. And it's like, we oh, all... no, no. I think you kind of admitted you were wrong on that a little bit. I think you gave in a little bit on that. There were to where we gave in was I'm like, if you guys want to do shit in Canada, I don't care. But like, I didn't want a competitive like golf tournament to the classic. Yeah. Yeah. Because at that time, you still hated Whitney. Uh, I mean, no, hated man. fucking. Rick. Uh, I, I remember just thinking like if we had a if we had a bar, if we had a spit and chicklets golf tournament, it's like. You're still going to sell out all the classics and you're going to sell out the Chicklet tournament and everyone's making more, more money. So it wasn't like like us doing if we had ever done a golf tournament, which I think we might in Canada, we're going to try to do live shows there. I don't the classic wouldn't wouldn't lose one dollar. I didn't disagree with that element, but you were pitching. It was like our our goal. No, remember I go, maybe I'll fucking quit and do a golf podcast somewhere else. And he goes, fucking do it. <laughs> and Erica's on the phone like, okay, guys, okay, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Eric was on the phone and me and him and were going was on it. the phone. He's like, slow down. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were screaming at each other because this, this big thing is like, all right, we got this master plan. And it's like, here's what we want to do to take uh, Spit and Chickles to the next uh, level. Why are we even on that call? We, I don't even we, remember. It, it, we want to go after foreplay. I'm like. Wait, what? No, it's like we never. Foreplay, four we, like, that's us. We never said that. That's, he's changing the world. <laughs> no, it's like, we, we, we've come up with this plan. We're just going to. We're just going to bury gonna the golf ball. Steal yeah. everything we that Riggs has built and take it from him. I'm like, what are you. Wait, what? <laughs> you greenlit you green two college basketball podcasts. I don't see why True, not. It was very similar. I know, and a, I remember seeing that. And a, I was like, what am I not as good as Nadu to do? <laughs> it was a very similar dynamic between them two at the time. It's like, I just don't know why we can't do something that we're not already doing. The Canada thing I get. Yeah, Biz was actually the peacemaker on that. We were screaming at each other on that, and Erica was on. <laughs> yeah, that was. I think there was, there was another argument we had. I don't remember what it was, but the funny part was... Like three days prior, we were somehow talking. I was like, hey, dude, I'm never leaving Barstool. I'm in for life. And three days later, I was like, fuck you. I take back what I said three days ago. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Ah, oh, uh, shit. Oh, though, the other time you gave a shit, which was kind of embarrassing, too, was. Embarrassing for me? Yeah. yeah. Not embarrassing, but you were wrong. Is The Ottawa Senators got in that big no, ordeal I, where I, they I fucking. The, 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 the Uber. Wrong camera oh, yeah. caught them chirping the coach and he's like you gotta be breaking that story you gotta be say that you voice. gotta you gotta be going after skulls on the ottawa centers i'm like dude we interview these guys what do you want us to do no, he's no, like no, no. we are nothing no, no. they just acted like it never happened but gas is on my side you you just didn't talk about oh it. shocker gas is on your side well no you, you didn't talk about it. it's a hockey part i get that you get people you could have talked about that in a way without like alienating players no, but you we acted were, like it no, didn't we, exist no no we were we, were, we, kinda, we, talk, we talked no. about it, but we weren't. No, what we did is we that, that's like with uh, what's his face. You acted like it, that didn't exist too for what, a while. What the guy who got fired uh, on your podcast, Jr. Yeah, you had no. You, yeah, you played like that never happened for a while. No, no, yeah, we oh, didn't. Yeah, we yeah, didn't. Yeah. I, Biz would remember how that all went down, but we didn't at all. Oh, and we yeah, were also like, like talking happen. to Jr. the whole time. But the, right, right, privately, yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember yeah. enough. I have a bad well, memory, but I don't you remember. You just didn't talk about it. No, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Right. You're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. Didn't you know, someone like comment on that and you got really mad? What? Ooh. Someone commented on that and you got really mad. I Whitney? forgot who it was. No, no, no. Oh, uh, you got mad. Yeah, somebody I wrote did. a blog or something about it. Yeah, and you were pissed. I remember you. You wrote me. Uh, somebody wrote a blog. It wasn't someone from the Chicklets team either. Jordy, maybe. Yeah, I don't what, know. They, I got pissed. Yeah, because yeah, they. Were, I they, I think you, they were do they were dogging. Whoever wrote the blog was like dogging them for firing Ronick, and you're like, dude, we don't know the story. We don't know. What oh happened. yeah, 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 yeah. I, maybe it was Jordy. I don't know. Ricochet shot if it wasn't him. I I, I don't know. Sorry, Jordy, if it was, but I I I, I, I think I, it was. Correct. But. You just saw a blog where it made it look like he, the blog's like Ronick did nothing wrong. Correct. And you're like, dude, what the fuck? We have to like get the whole story out before yes. we talk about. I was correct. Yeah. No. He he just said. I, I was 100% correct in that regard. There, there was, 
I also ha- think that was around had- the Penn sale, so, so things were tightening no, we all over the place. We, Catherine Tappan had not at, yes, had yes. not said what she felt yet. So if she wasn't like, yeah, it's a joke, ha ha. But then she's like, what he said was wrong, and I didn't want us being like, JR did nothing wrong. What's that? It was Jordy. It, I was right. No ricochet. You, How you did you just find with. that? I just I just Googled Ronick Jordy. By the way, Dave. really? I was 100% yeah. correct now that I'm redoing. he Because when Tappan came out, even if they're friends being like, you can't say that, that's wrong. And we're saying like, yeah, you can. You can be like, I want to sleep with my coworker. Like, we kind of look like assholes. Get it? That was Hey, where are you at? Where, where hey, are you at up. with Grinelli? Me? Yeah. I mean, the Grinelli thing has never been like personal. I, I it all started over that original thing when he called me a pothead, and I'd never met him before. Um, so I bust his balls, but no, I never. But this him. is He's what he does. He just he he. That didn't happen. The girl just made it up. Unless Mikey's lying to me. Mikey's Mikey like, I is. never said that to that girl. Mikey is lying to you. But why? Why do you believe the girl instead of him? That's what I don't get. Like it doesn't because make sense. At, no, because it's easy for him to then go on that and just always hate Grinelli on, and he can just right, believe right, this story. So let me ask you. I I didn't know who Grinelli was. I didn't. He wasn't trying to work here. This girl just places a call out of thin air, out of making up a name for no reason what do you at mean all. Places a call. Like the girl called me out of the blue. Why? Who makes that up? Who would be more likely to be lying here? The girl for no reason who calls me out of the blue and says. Do you smoke? No. Why? Oh, Mike Grinelli said you're a pothead. Out of the blue. I don't know. With no maybe. context. Well, Grinelli, or Grinelli denying it. Or hold on. Was Grinelli already working for us? No. Oh, yeah. All right. I, <laughs> That's why I didn't even know who he was. I thought he was our producer, and no. I'm saying maybe the girl wanted to talk to you no, by just came, using him to... Well, he came after the fact. I'm like, wait a minute. I know that name. That's... <laughs> That's the kid who called him yeah. a pothead. Yeah. Mike, I, I told... So Mikey, knowing Mikey, that story, who, who would you believe? The girl. Yeah. But I, I just, I, now I know Mikey's, like, I never said it, so, but whatever. The thing with Mikey was he, once Dave, like, started hating him or hated him, he just wanted him to like him so it bad, me, so he used to tweet at him, enjoy, and I, and yeah. I, dude, I told, I told, I more. told Mikey, I go, dude, this is the exact opposite thing you should be doing. Just don't talk to him, get, stay away from, don't, he's tweeting at him, like, hey, Prez, looking good today. I'm like, no, it makes him hate you more. <laughs> Like this guy does not want you. Don't be nice to him. The meaner you are, the more he likes you. That's that's our that's how we grew up. It's kind um, of true. Uh, yeah, my real friends were the meanest people in the world to each yeah, other. Same. What were we just talking about? Um, oh, I don't know how I just. Oh, thought. I just Grinelli. said I don't know how I thought of this. Shout out to me when I mentioned like I keep seeing my spit in the air, and he goes, "I don't spit." <laughs> Way too late. <laughs> I know. I just remembered. Yeah, but that's embarrassing. How did I not drop that, that right when he said it? That's embarrassing. How did I not drop that? That's right when like when the reporter said Riggs is cross-eyed. I didn't catch it in real time. That's oh like embarrassing. Oh my god! I know, but if it was still, I had, I was like, oh my god, that would have been the best. That would have been the best quip I've ever had to you if yep. I thought of it right then. I know. Too bad. Still, it's a seven out of ten <laughs> saying it now. No, it's like a four. It's good that Fuck. you brought it up. You had Fuck. good theatrics, but if you had oh. that in real time, like that would <laughs> that would haunt me. If I didn't come up with that in real time, that would haunt me. I know. It does haunt me. That was a layup. To get it up. That, was, that was like <laughs> oh. setting it up over the... What else has happened over our long run together? That was a great Barstool Radio. That was There was a Christmas party. Everyone was in town, and that's when tape one dropped. And you and Biz came in the radio room over that. No, we that had was, a great Barstool a Radio one. talking about uh, after Biz had gone on Call, uh, Call Me Daddy. And then Biz oh, yeah. and Dave were going back and forth. That was a good Barstool Radio. Barstool Radio was fun. I fucking miss not being able to just kind of tune in. Well, that, I told that you, actually, you could, like the, live. The, the Chicklets call her daddy thing was like one of the contract negotiations, which was infuriating because they somehow had an idea what you guys made and it was such apples to oranges because no offense to you guys, they they just dwarfed you. They dwarf like yeah. almost everybody. Yeah. So, but they were like personalities before we hired them and that was the disconnect that I think they knew it but they were leveraging it's like well why do they get paid we're so much bigger it's like because they were existing like we signed them when they're already that that never yeah like we actually got really lucky where we started the show RA and I probably did 12 episodes and either Gaz listened or Dave listened to a little he's like hey we want to bring you on board so boom then it's kind of 50 50 as opposed to if we came on board and started it you're getting paid different. Well, and, and right? totally. And I mean, Biz had a million followers exactly. before he Biz. shows up. Yep. So no, but we were with you before. 
Yeah, yeah, well, yeah well, but you're saying when Biz I, comes, he's not going to, I know. Right, he's not going to be like, oh, I'm starting at nothing. He's yeah, exactly. coming with a big following. You guys had already built it up. I, if my memory is like Rear started before you, didn't he? What do you mean, like writing for you? With Spit and Chicklets, episode one, you were on episode one. Yeah, it was me and Rear Admiral. Oh, I thought it was Rear without... <laughs> what do you think? He just did a show by himself? Well, well, Rear... Hey, uh, welcome uh, <laughs> folks at Rear... home with us in Bruins Third Line. Had uh, 14 penalty minutes last night. Rear's been with us forever. Forever, forever. Yeah, and and just and you just wouldn't pay him. <laughs> he kept... let, me, let me tell you something about Rear. Rear. Rear said he asked to get paid by him 10 years in a row. And every time he's like, all right, this is my last year. And then training camp would start. He's like... I gotta write about him. <laughs> Listen, Rear, Rear I, I love Rear, but Rear would write maybe if the Bruins played ten games, he'd write one recap per ten games, and it would be Bruins win three two. That was what he wrote. Like we had, if you look at uh, our Carabas or a Celtics or whoever, they were writing everything. Oh yeah, Greeny, Greeny's yeah. fucking awesome at blogging. No, not but he does every day. I know. I, by, by the way, I don't know Greeny. I just hear Dave just shit on oh, you. Oh, he's a human rain delay. He is. He's he's fucking tear. Dude, the other painful. day, didn't you didn't you say if Greeny was me when this started, we'd never have a business? <laughs> well, he's so mean. It's true. Eddie. It's true. Like if anyone started, it wasn't you. They probably wouldn't be. There's a, a lot of people probably. Out at Green, Greeny's writing about fucking who knows who on the Celtics. I can't name one guy. Uh, Jason Tatum, and he's writing about his triple double, and all of a sudden he's listening to the Dave Portnoy show. He's getting attacked. Well, he he's he's just the least entertaining human in the world. <laughs> I was stunned when I found out he lived in Colorado. He's I, so I was stunned. Incredibly boring. Maybe he's just baked all day. And he's no, he's just, just like, boring. Uh, some guys are boring. Some guys aren't. Listen, like if I was still running the blog every day, like I, you know, it's like I couldn't take it. I have to get rid of him because I, I, he'd be having me have midday naps every time I read his stuff. It's like I couldn't take it. But he works hard. And and that does count for something. World needs ditch diggers too. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, you know what else? I had such a falling out with uh the Grinelli's like the place his family owns. He was trying to sneak the parties bar. there. Greatest bar. Yeah. I had like a major falling out with <laughs> that group, and who knows now. But then he'd be like, Can we do parties there? It's like Grinelli. Like I know it's your dad, but I like I think I hate him, and I haven't met him. <laughs> no, he's like, I know it's your dad. I don't care at all. I don't. <laughs> he's like, we couldn't even sell Pink Whitney in there for a little while. I don't I, know. I, I, but now, I now, honestly, Greatest is kind of hurting. And so, Mikey, they just got reopened, so we're going to try to go over there and do something because that's his dad's spot. So, I, I, yeah, once I heard that you had a beef with them, I was like, this is not good. It's, like well, it's, it's his dad's it's, partner. That well, yeah, it, like, yeah. I mean, you, but he's not stubborn, yeah. at least. So maybe. Well, you, you know what his partner said, right? No. A lot. Oh, it was all over you? He, tell a story, Paul. So I was at a, an event at the House of Blues, and uh, I'm in the bathroom taking a leak, and the guy who owns Bostonian, Matt, he's a great guy. He's been around a bar still forever. Robitaille? Robitaille, yep. yeah, awesome. Um, so I'm sitting there taking a piss, and then they bring up the the blackout tour, and they're like, oh, that's Barstool. Like, Matt's like, yeah, it's Barstool's thing. Because it was guy, coming to House yeah, of Blues. Yeah, yeah, and the guy was in the pisser next to me, and he goes, he's like, the Barstool's still around, right? And this is the height of the blackout tour. And, and and Matt goes, oh, this is like his guy, Gaz, like he's his buddy. And he's like, what he said, tell him that he's a, he's going to, oh, he's going to fuck you over at some point. Like basically he's being like, Dave's a scumbag. He's going to fuck and you, you over. Don't trust guy? him. He, I didn't know him at all. I didn't know but who he was. You didn't either. And I, I, he knew him through like. He started like the uh, competitive newspaper to us back in the day. And that's when you got the old Dave Portnoy, <laughs> a competitive newspaper in Boston, and you're not talking about future worth with Clay Travis. That's not, a different not, battle. Not only right that, there. they we helped them in the beginning, and then they cut all their advertising to us. So you call him, and you're like, he Dave, called me wait right to up. Hear this one, and yes. you're like, enemy forever. Yes. <laughs> and then Grinelli's come around like, why don't you throw parties and make this guy mine? The guy who said I'm a scumbag. I mean, he had no idea he was talking, but that just speaks to the way they are. It's like. So yeah, the thing is there like about so Grinelli go, go though. Sa like, go save that business, Grinelli. <laughs> Grinelli, Gaz, you know has fucking done awesome here. Like, yeah, he's worked his ass he's off. He's worked his he ass is. off. He's really helped grow chicklets. And I don't think like I told Mike, I go, you're never gonna be friends with Dave. He's never gonna be nice to you. He's never gonna send you a good job. But like you're doing good work, so just let's he's go. He's never even fucking here. Really? Is he? I mean, no. I mean, he comes he's in when he's coming, but he's like up late at editing. He's not like yeah, in the yeah, office it's every day. Yeah, but. it's late. But the, yeah, the, it, forever for for anyone who needs to go home. Hate if you try to get him to like you, he's gonna hate you even more. You might as well go oh, up so you, to him and make fun of his shirt. So you officially don't hate him no more, then? 
I never really hated him. It's just like, dude, why you why you sent him a pothead? <laughs> well, and and, and by, by, by the way, by the way, and then Monster It's only breaks out and he's like, Maybe he was. Yeah, well that was a that was a good giveaway. And, and you know, his you know, his his partner in crime there, he's someone told him not to he asked to do an event there. And somebody was like, don't ask him to do an event there. Yeah, I told him not to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't even ask asked. him. And he still asked him. Yeah. <laughs> Gaz is like, I just told you not yeah. to do that. And usually I'd be like, yeah, go ask him. <laughs> yeah. And get, well, your, get your camera going. But as people say, I'm crazy. It's like hearing that story. Why would you ever want to do something? You're almost better off because I'm kind of unplugged. Like, do it and hope I don't find out about it. So I got to ask you, what is this I miss her sweatshirt that you're wearing, dude? <laughs> Who told you to ask that? Who told you, you, Paul? I miss her. You guys talked about Dante Portnoy. Hey, Holy shit. Who I told you to ask that? Miss her. <laughs> wearing a that? fucking sweatshirt that says I miss her. Who, who told you to ask that? Whitney probably follows it, that account. Does it even matter? Yeah, right. I, it's like, dude, you're one of the most powerful men in media, and you're wearing a fucking sweatshirt next to your girlfriend that says I miss her. It's like, look at this. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, has his chin up. Beard looks great. I miss her. <laughs> some, some, you know, sometimes the juice isn't worth the squeeze, Whitney. It's like, the girl, it's she, like, when Sylvana came over, she said, her friends have this company. She's like, will you throw this one take simp. a picture? Everyone knows the rules. <laughs> what would you say? What are you going to say? No. Then, then I'm going to no, fight. No, no, no. You know what? Then if I'm, I'm you, if I'm you, I take that picture 100% with my girlfriend. I say, do not send that to anyone. But it's it like, was like, for like, the company. Then why did you do it? It because wasn't for her. It was for the company. Her, it, is, she, her, is it her company? It's her friend's company, and I'm oh, not Oh, you're gonna, such a guy to do I'm big the, favors uh, for friends, people's companies. It wasn't for companies. the friend's fucking company. You know company. Dave helps out friends, it people's companies. It wasn't for the friend's fucking company. It was so we didn't get in a fight. I actually said no the first time, and it turned into a little bit of a do-to-do. So I'm like, Did you see it. that TikTok? Hey, how'd that, that do-to-do do? do? do 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 end? It started to fight. He didn't hold his guns. He doesn't hold his guns it was way anymore. Big, way better. So you got to know. I, I'm. I know when to pick my battles at this point. Um, what What was the other thing? Yeah, pull up the TikTok, what Whitney. TikTok? Did you see this? No. Look at this kid's hair. So, for, for, if you go back in that video when he first took the picture over his shoulder, are you holding hands? Are you holding hands, Dave? Walking to a pizza <laughs> review? No. What the fuck? What are you talking? Hold, hold on. Pause it when he does the first picture. Over. You're holding hands. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, he's not. Oh, is he? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Rocket, I tried to look Dave, too. It did Dave. appear so. Rocket though. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's why you wear the fucking sweatshirt. Oh, no, it's me. not because you're not yeah, gonna, it is. You're not gonna lose the rocket if you don't wear the sweatshirt. Is it? You would have been in a fight for one day, and then she would have come back. Please, right. please wear the. Sh yeah, and yeah. That, what do you care about the, being in a fight today? You're working all day, anyways. No, 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 no. Oh, she didn't no, respond no, to my no, text no, during no, that no, third no, pizza no, review. No, no, no. We're fighting every day till I put it on. It's it's then, on. Then maybe that isn't the relationship it, for you, dude. Listen. She's Colombian and fits oh, yeah. every stereotype of like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's funny though? I know what you're saying because fighting with a significant other what's is the, the biggest kick in the dick. So Until I, it's over, it's hell on earth. I have two choices. I can fight or I can put on the sweatshirt. So I just was like, all right, I'll put on the sweatshirt. I'll and it on was on. And if, to be honest, nobody in the world would have seen it. If Paul doesn't fucking put it on every, it was on an account with one person. He's he's trained Paul so well that he's now going against. Dave. That's what's happening. Paul's like, like, I'm a professional pot stirrer. I used to just stir the pot for Dave, and now I'm stirring it against. It, it literally was on an account with he's one follower. It, it was, was that kid. Was, did he not know who you were? No, he did. He that's why he did it. And did that go? Is he a TikTok star? It it. Anything, and he had like twenty thousand views. I'd put it on mine. It's got like four million. Humble brag. I mean, whatever. I, I'll make content out of it. Whatever. Um, how? Are we, what, what else did we have, Eddie? What else did we have? I think that's like most of the garbage that we've gone through. I mean, we I, why don't you come on here monthly, Whitney? Why don't Anytime. you come on more? 
Well, you, well, see, you said that, and then Gaz was like, oh, he, he was like giving me shit saying I didn't want well, you. That's not true. Well, last, you didn't want me, Eddie? Wait, Ryan, Ryan. No, last no, no, no. week, I said, Ryan's going to be in the office. we got to get him on the podcast. They said they'd rather have Clay Travis. Who said that? That is not true. That is, that is not true. true. Weigh that's in. Fuck true. Weigh in. Right they now. said, we'll wait, and we'll have Ryan come who, on who, later. We'll who? save him. Who said that? Kareem and Eddie. That, that's I had nothing I to But that's the other thing about the Clay Travis. Kareem, you said you'd rather have fucking Clay who, Travis Who said they wanted to save Ryan? In, in, in. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that. Dave just wanted to have the conversation about who had I, more money. I could give a fuck less about Clay Travis, but on the show, they said it. It's like, you won't get it, I don't care. Eddie, like, I, Ryan's I, here Eddie, once I, Eddie, I feel like I fucking could throw up right now. Listen, listen, here's the thing. Clay was booked. I'm I'm pretty sure Clay was booked. And at the same Clay, time, no, Clay I wasn't asked, booked. Clay was the booked. Hour. Who are we talking no, about? No, 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 no. Clay wasn't booked. And by the way, they, they asked me, like, can we DM Clay from you? I didn't give my anything. It's like, if you guys want to go get him, I don't care. I'll talk to him. He's I like, was I was curious about the business side of the deal. And I wasn't well, mad at him. I hadn't been in a fight with him for like six months, but I had nothing to do with that. They asked you, if, you if, if they could call Clay Travis. You're like, no, let's just FaceTime from my phone. What's up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> And I asked you to come on in Detroit, and you, and you were like, no, no, no. No, I, I was, you, no you were doing it on the, the next morning at, or noon, and I, my flight was at like 8 a.m. Ah, Remember? I thought you were like, oh, no, no, like I'm because whatever. But I, that was dude, right. I, <laughs> that was, so we, we're gambling. We all lose. Actually, I was telling Big Cat. I'm pretty sure I won that competition. As crazy as it sounds, you remember how all the bets were kind of coming in like later after the game? And all of a sudden, yeah. we, we went to the tables and I looked and my Barstool Sports account had 13 grand. And I don't think Rico did. No, I don't think he and, did. And we, and, but at that point, it was like, imagine trying to get that 50K back from Rico. He would have stabbed me in the neck. So that <laughs> night, so Dave... So, so he would have poisoned you. So he went up and he's like, I'm going to go get money. I'm going to go to the tables. And Elio and I are waiting. I was like, dude, I have no cash on me. So he, give, he gives me 10 grand. I win it back. I give it back to him immediately. So now all I'm playing with is my winnings. <laughs> he lost 14 hands in a row. <laughs> he lost every dollar he had. Oh, mate? <laughs> yeah, do you remember? I it was an was. absolute shit kicking. The guy made him put on a mask. I took a picture of it. I'll get it for the show. It was a mask for a three-year-old. Oh, it yeah, barely covered yeah, his yeah. snout. <laughs> he goes, I haven't won a hand, and the mask doesn't even cover my lower lip. <laughs> <laughs> it was a kid's mask. I got, I got the picture. It, the mask was tight. Oh, my yeah, God. Oh my God! What's our next gambling? Oh, Indiana. That's what I want to talk this week. Yeah, that's great. Indiana. So five states now. Four: Four. Michigan, Pennsylvania. Illinois, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Oh, I thought Jersey. Oh, Jersey's illegal, but legal, but we're, we're not, not in there. It. So we're gonna have eight by football season or nine by football. Oh, I was gonna say, but I was gonna say within the next year, will you get to like ten? So you're even before the fall. Yes. What states are we looking at? Uh, in the pipeline, I don't know the order. I know there's Jersey. Colorado, Tennessee. Um, I don't know Maryland. if Louisiana's legal yet. I don't know. Nothing from Massachusetts yet? Well, they're not legal yet. They oh, I know. I just didn't know if they're saying like soon or something. I mean, it's they're so all going to go soon. It's just New York, how that breaks out. Eddie, you're still in that shithole office or is that your house? I apologize if that is. This, this is my house. Oh, we we, we have one more week in the shithole office, though. So you guys, with gambling legal, you should have a gambling cave type thing that we have in New York, 100%. right? 100%. That's going to be sick. We will. You can do the, mm -hmm. um, do the uh, Bears, like halftime shows, all that, live bet. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, be, we'll have a whole gambling thing in the new office. It's, How it dumb has really Dave nice. been lately? White Sox, Dave? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant well, he... <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was talking thought about we were him. going round round two. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was, he, I was <laughs> he snapped his head across. I, I saw it in peripheral, but I was like, I'm not even looking. <laughs> uh, you know, he's White Sox Dave. He's trying to sue Bob Baffert for the uh, the, the he, Oh, you're a horse dirty. guy. What the fuck? There, there is an actual lawsuit, you know, going on. He oh, is really? Getting sued. Yes. I thought, and he's and he's not allowed at. Uh, yeah, they banned him at Belmont. Hey, you know what I think we should try to do is. Get, inv get involved with Pink Whitney at uh, Saratoga around the Whitney Stakes race. I feel like that could be like it's kind of a that could be a drink of the track. Like pink lemonade vodka on a hot day, the, and they already have a Whitney race. It's their second biggest race after the Travers. Mary Lou Whitney, funny story uh, for, from there. So I when I go to the track, at times they 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 shift me around. Because I don't own, I own a box, but not in a certain section. So I was there with my parents, and we sat in this box. It's Mary Lou Whitney's box. Who the race is named after? I, I think she's at the time definitely of nineties, like the first lady at this point of horse racing. Never comes old. They're like you can sit there. 
we're sitting there, my mom and my dad, right? And a lady comes up, she's like, you're in my seats. And my my mom and my dad's like, no, these are our seats. This fucking Mary Lou Whitney. <laughs> she showed up. My parents wouldn't get up. They're like, no, these are ours. It was crazy. <laughs> the timing of it on fucking the His Whitney. His dad's thing. like, I have a serious radio show. I think I know where my seats are. Yeah, my dad fell down. Oh, my. He fell? Yeah. Recently or at the race? Recently. Is he all right? Yeah, he's all right. Older. We can't talk about falls and laugh I, anymore. Listen, you know this is – wait till I show you this picture. He's all right. And I think he actually wanted me to post it for, like, sympathy. But it was <laughs> – I mean, look at this. Holy shit. Yeah. What is it? His face messed up? That's what you look like when you're older. No, I'm more like my mom. Oh, my God. Dude, he, got, he looks worse than Pilar after he got hit in the face. No joke. He, he, he looks tired. He, he, I'm like, what happened? Go to the hospital? Uh, yeah. He fractured his fingers. See, I truly care about your family. You don't even care about my kid. Fucking joke. Well, yeah, how old is your kid? I actually care about his son, oh, uh, his, his know, dad. Listen, I've said this every time. I know you don't like kids. Let's no, not no, talk no. about it. When they can make a Little League All-Star game then, and they're like actually a real human, then I'll start paying attention. I actually said to my, my, my wife, I said, I'll have a third kid if I can just come back when he's four. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the first few years are so like hard. When they're just rolling around <laughs> yeah. being blobs, they're yeah, fucking I'm, not I'm, even. I'm, yeah. I'm throwing up the ball. He can't hit it yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get your hand-eye going, Ryder. <laughs> I told Rico that it's my son's name's Ryder Rico Whitney. I think he th believes me, but it's, it's true. He's a rider as well. Yeah. Wow. All right, Eddie. All right, All right uh, great pizza. show. Eddie, I'll come back whenever you want. I feel like I could somewhat keep him in check in terms of him going like a direction we don't like seeing with I miss her, Clay Travis, you're the man, and I don't yell at people There's anymore. There's not one. Like, and then Wit comes. <laughs> yeah, all right, nice job there, Wit. Got a little uh, fucking overboard. Let me say this unequivocally. There's nobody who wouldn't put that sweatshirt on in that situation. Nobody. Um, yes, there is. No, Who? Leonardo DiCaprio. No, he'd wear it. What are you kidding me? I don't think he'd do it. He, I've never seen him do it. I've never seen him hold a shirt why? next to a girl and say, I miss her. You know what he'd do? He would have that girl say, put the shirt on. He'd say, next. Nope. He wouldn't. Ha he doesn't have a Paul. Who's next. Trying, he doesn't have a Gaz who's, who's going through the one follower accounts, digging him up. <laughs> He's blaming Paul like Paul was sitting there putting the shirt over No, his but no one would know about it. Paul, Hey, Paul was G Gary Bettman putting the draft jersey over Nobody days. would know about it. <laughs> No harm, no foul. Tree well, falls in the woods. Nobody hears it. Thanks for having me on the show. One simp. Everyone knows. Yeah, just text me. Well, you know, you're good about text me about shit when you're listening to the show. So yeah, I'm like Eddie. Talk about this this week. Talk about this. <laughs> All right. So that was Ryan Whitney. Great to have him on the show, Dave. How was he in the office? Good. I mean, I like Whitney. Great to see him. Uh, let's do a little inside bar stool, then we'll get out of here. Uh, Jersey Shore Pizza review set the world on fire. When I say the world, I seem I mean one man. Rico. <laughs> yeah. Well, Rico, listen, he's crazy. And I'm at the Jersey Shore. I don't really know my whereabouts. I was close to DJs. Happened to be opening night at DJs. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go DJs. We text Rico, come to um, fucking DJs. You always want me to go. It's opening night. He's like, I can't go. My, uh, I, I got responsibilities. I'm like, well, I'm going. He's like, you motherfucker. He calls. Goes nuts. Punching his face. Punching the steering wheel. Spitting. I didn't, I tried to record it. I didn't get it. I'm like, man, that was a missed one. Then he calls back telling me I can't go. because Oh, oh no. I said I'm not going to go because he freaked. And then he's like, Freaking out, saying I gotta go now because he told people I was going. You can't win. He's freaking out again, threatening to throw himself off the roof. You can't win with this guy. He, he there is no guy more self focused than Miko Bosco. So let me ask you this then: Do you think he's crazy? Yes. There was any thought? Does he have any self awareness? No. Is he insane? Yes. Is there, he a lunatic? Yes. Does well, he have any self-awareness? No. Was there anything behind this from your end, though, where you knew it would get a rise out of him? No. No, you didn't think of it. I'm trying rise. to help him. I tried to help him twice. I helped, tried to help him by going there, and then I helped him by not going there. And all he had for me is, Slim Cooper's hanging him up. I'm never going to be the same. The guy's crazy. He's an insane asylum. I know... First hand that he has had a plan for a DJ's pizza review for a long time. What makes him think he has any say in that? 
I think he's it's three man weave. He's it's no, no. He has no right to that. He has no right to that. And then he's been getting it at all angles. He texted me. He's coming into town. I think tomorrow. Yeah, he's there's the whole Minahan breakup. There's Hank versus Minahan. Well, when you live your life and worry about everybody but you, and you alienate everybody you come into contact with, these things will happen. I told him when he got in bed with Minahan, well, this won't end well. Didn't I say that? Is it ending well? It ended. It doesn't seem like it's ended as bad as we thought, though. It's just starting, my friend. So you think it's going to get turned N- up a notch? Nadu to do. Kirk Minahan is basically going to demand that I hire Nadu to do. I get. I Kirk's next move is I quit or you hire Nadu to do. Then I got to hire Nadu to do. Oh, and who has to? Who has anybody to blame for that except Rico Bosco? Oh no. Yeah. What yeah. about What about the sit down podcast? Did you check it out? I heard it's unbelievable. I literally, uh, Kirk's like, I listened to it without knowing who it was. I'm like, this is one of the great podcasts of all time, the sit down. So you're always in the business of acquiring podcasts. Yeah. It's been taking a hard look at it. I have. And by the way, Hank's out here taking bullets. I don't see where's Rico. He's nowhere to be found defending his man. He did it once and then ran. He posted the Mount Ryder Morse. He's probably underneath a tree right now, just hoping, you know, he survives till the gunfire is done. Listen, nobody's a bigger rider than I am, but. Sometimes it's tough being a rider. He was really upset about DJs. He was he was, he was texting me. He was furious. Yeah. You texted me. You said he's out of control. He yeah. here for anybody wondering and and some of it, you know, is shtick and whatnot. Is none of it is shtick with Rico. He didn't know he was being recorded. He never thought that he freaked out when I posted it. Because he's like, I'm wearing my uniform. What are you talking about? You're wearing a t shirt. Was he mad at He's mad about everything. He always thinks everyone's out to get him. There's nobody. If I could give Rico Bosco any advice, and I hope he listens to this. I'm looking right into the camera. Mind your own business. Takes care of everything else. Just worry about Miko. I do think you should have took him to. You should have done DJs with him, though. I tried I to. He said he couldn't do it. So you didn't go at all? Did you do I a drive-by? I didn't go at all. And then speaking of Hank, Alpha twice in a week by Jake Marsh. Sad. I don't know where this kid Jake Marsh came from. He owns him. <laughs> he did, he did Honestly, it. I know Hank loves the job, and Hank's been a great hire, and I, nobody has better things to say about Hank. I would have probably retired. <laughs> like, you've run your course here. He's an inch away from stealing your girlfriend. Just... Fold up, shop, get out of town. Like you're getting alphaed by Jake Marsh in a way that – is that a home run? Is that a base hit? Is that an out? Two outs. And that goes the David Day trade. David Day night. Fucking A, man. Brewers win. Brewers win. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, – I, I don't think it's – I don't know why they keep playing. What's the, what's the, what's the stakes here? What's the – why do they keep going? Oh, you believe the ch- client wrote that, Steve Che? That fucker. He'll lie That's right through his teeth. <laughs> I believe the client wrote it. Uh, you had some heat on a couple guys this week. Mins, Ev, Austin. Bayou Ben, yeah. Yeah. I like him. He's just He's just a Southern guy. Some guys... He's the type of guy, if he crosses the street when we're done with COVID in a busy New York... New York intersection, he's just going to get run over by a cab. <laughs> that's Steve, that's that's Mincy. Like he's playing Frogger and just not seeing the cars coming. He's, he's not built. Some people aren't built for, you know, an East Coast lifestyle. They're built to be slow, eat gumbo, jambalaya, never like feel like they're hustled the rush of pressure. That's Mincy. That's Ben Mintz. We got to get him back in the South. Some he's just a fish out of water here. So you're actually he's going to relocate. He's going once we and I think it just got approved. Louisiana once Louisiana gambling is legal, Mincy's going back. Do you? Think- I, I I feel like it's like a zoo keeper. You know, you take an animal that belongs in Africa and you put a zebra in 
you know, the Stoneham Zoo, the zebra's unhappy. The habitat just isn't going to work. Correct. Well, you take about- fucking Willie, free Willie, and you put him in confinement in SeaWorld, he's unhappy. Yeah, he could be. He may be friends. Like, free Willie had friends, but he had to get out in that open sea. Do you think this will upset, and do you think this paves the way for our other Mississippi guy to head back down? No. 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 Mincy's way nicer. Like, I don't know. There's something about Brandon Walker. He's just a mean guy. Oh, so that he's, fits in East Coast. He's mean to you personally? No, I just think he's kind of like an edgy mean guy, don't okay. you? Don't you think he has more of an East Coast vibe than, yeah, yeah, yeah. than Mincy? Min- yeah. Mincy literally should just be eating jambalaya all the time. And then what's up with, uh, are you you and your guy Austin on, on the right foot now? Yeah, Austin works hard. He was just stupid. When have my pizza reviews ever had editing, like beeping Edits. out F-words? That's part of the beauty of the pizza reviews. You get the streets and people acting like nutcakes and things like that. You don't edit it. And I the way it went down, Spider told Austin, like, hey, the Hooters people want to talk to you. And like, like Spider, Austin, and the Hooters people decide what they can do with my pizza review. Come on. Day one stuff, really. Yeah. Uh, does he do stuff for anything, anybody else or just Austin, you? just me. Just I have you? him, like, literally chained to his desk. Okay. The guy, he's going to be pale, unhealthy. He just sits at his desk and he's does, the he most, yelled at, but he has a lot of responsibility. works hard. He's the biggest unsung hero in the Dave Portnoy business, I would say. Yeah. Well, yes. Totally. Like, yep. I mean, you know, Frankie. That's all shrapnel, really. Yes. Frankie's barely in the business now. Yeah. Kareem Spider, but he's the guy, like, you know. Yep. My, people might not know as much, but he does No, he's pretty on top of stuff. Yeah. That was a huge error, but he's very on top of stuff. And again, he works hard, so I was very mad he did it. I'd yell like that pretty much at anybody, but like he works hard and he's important. Does he take get, getting yelled at well? Yeah, he, no. No. Yes, but he does it in a way that makes me want to yell at him more. Okay. I, I, by the bet, I'm surprised he's taking it pretty well, it seems. I don't think Southern guys get upset. Yeah. They're, They're just, just like, whoop. <laughs> Go eat some jambalaya. Keep it like, we'll go listen to some widespread, some live live music. How did uh, how did Big Ev take it? Seemed like he took it well. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know what Big Ev was doing. What happened? I people think it comes from me. Erica will like send me spreadsheets or whatever, or Paul occasionally. It's like, well, we have a hundred people, like a hundred and one content people. And when I say content people, we don't take people off the list. So people don't even work here on that list. And he was like ninety seventh. That's almost impossible. Almost, almost impossible. But Big F's coachable. He'll be. He'll be fine. I like Big yeah. F. He'll bounce back. I like Big F. Pac Man Jones versus Bobby Lang. Love to see it. I don't know where we're at with that, but I'd love to have that happen. Uh, we're trying to make an offer. Yeah. I don't know where we're at, but yeah, that would be great. I feel like Pac Man. He's like the how he's got a lot of juice in West Virginia still. I'd say right. Be a great fight. But he's probably got a lot of rivals. He probably pissed a lot of people off there. I don't know. You don't think so? I don't know. So it's in the works. When's the next rough and rowdy? That we don't know. We oh, don't you don't know? know? No. You're trying to work on this. That'd be great. Um, curious about this. It seems like a lot of barstool employers are getting cameos. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Didn't I comment on somebody? I think you commented on Chia. Chia. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Talk- Imagine getting a Steve Che cameo. I would. I, I think. I think Chief St- Steve Che is funny. I would You'd pay actual American currency or crypto or a fucking penny store candy to have Steve Che leave a message. I think. I think Steve Che is funny. You think he's funny too, to a degree. I think Steve Che is unintentionally funny. But you'd pay for, like, isn't Cameo supposed to be, and I know the tank, the tank's a unique thing. Tank probably makes more than all of us combined, I guess, that's the rumor. Wait, he's making that much on Cameo, they say? Uh, isn't he, like, wildly successful in Cameo? Yeah, there's all the people that are on. Yeah, yeah. Do you have, uh, did you text it to me? No, I did on the screen. Okay, sorry. too far. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little far. Uh Pat. Billy football? 
Dana, Sydney, Wonton Don. I guess you make extra. So, uh, Minahan is on it. Steve Robinson. I thought Minahan would think he was better than this. Mincy, Pat, Molinaro. So, Big did you see Ev. That? Hey. See, I didn't do it. That was nice of you. Do you know, I, I didn't do it. Dogs, Biz. Crazy, man. Yeah, I don't know. I I, th I, I hate Cameo. Yeah, I would they're, never do it. They hit you up a lot, right? Well, not anymore because I would never do it. <laughs> Dana Beers. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the list. A lot of people. All right, good for them. I talked to Uber Debbie. Oh, you did? Yeah. She called me. What I answered. Word? It wasn't a great conversation. I was so mad. I, I wasn't very nice. But it was like she wasn't owning up to what she did either. Um, and I'll patch it up, but like I picked up, she's like, oh, finally I go, here we go. And she's like, what? And that voice she does, what? I'm like, you know what, Debbie, you fucking roasted me. I'm like, you motherfucker, you roasted me. She's like, no, I didn't. I'm like, yeah, you fucking did. And you didn't tell the truth, Debbie, and you fucking know it. She's like, what? She's like, I'm like, was I talking to you, Debbie? Were you the one sending me the messages or was it somebody else? She's like, well, you know, I can't like write those. I don't know how to do anything. Someone else, but I was right there. I was telling him what to say. It's like, no fucking chance, Debbie. You've never talked like that. It's like, well, it's like, so she kind of, and then. I was like, you motherfucker. What that like she said, like, can we do a pizza review? It's like, Debbie, you fucking roasted me for no reason and didn't tell the truth. It's like, what? So we just went back and forth a little bit. I feel bad because I like Debbie. So I'll have to figure it out. But she did roast me. Did she say anything about that other guy? She's like, he's my best friend. Okay. So to be continued still. Yeah, I'm not ready. She's like, I've never asked for anything. I'm like, Debbie, you asked for everything. You, that was the point. You went from like a legit friendship to like everything you want. It was just, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do for you, 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 you? And then you turned around and be like, I didn't want anything from you. It's like, ah, that's fucking bullshit. You know it. So, well, but you want to mend the fence. So. Yeah, I do because yeah. I like Debbie, but I don't trust this guy that's around her. So, yeah. So we'll see about that. And then I meant to say, too, about that cameo story. I don't know if you saw, but like three days after Pirate Simon came on, he made one. Listen, how, a snake it till you make it. I have no problem. I, listen, if I needed fucking extra cash and people would pay for it, fine. It's more an indictment on society as a whole that somebody would pay for Steve Chea. If more than like eight people paid for Steve Chea, something's wrong with this country. No offense to Chea. I disagree. I no. uh, if I had no. like if I had like a turtle and I was like I want Steve Che to name it to see what would come out of that brain of his I think it'd be worth it. No, like no. His, like you wouldn't be like hey Steve Che send me your. Uh, Why do you have to pay him to do that? His mowing the lawn playlist. Just ask him. Just be like that's the thing. A lot of these people, it's like just fucking ask. Like Steve Che would say no. Like no. hey Steve, send me a message. What else is he doing? Writing <laughs> these crap ads. <laughs> And Simon would be good because if he would give you an R again, but honestly, like that. I don't want to blow up. Ninety nine percent of these people would be so flattered that they're getting attention; they do it for free. No offense to anybody that I'm flaming right now, but you think Steve Che would say no to like a message in the street? Like, hey, Steve, say Giannotto Bonan for me. He fucking lives for that shit. What'd you say, Giannotto Bonan? <laughs> Who's the other? Che, pee, pee. You don't think if someone's like, hey, uh, Steve Che. I know you're not doing anything. Can you say uh, JPP? <laughs> He'd be thrilled to do it. <laughs> How much does he charge? Do we know? Maybe it's 50 cents. Maybe it's a dime. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Che. Oh, he's got 12 total. Well, uh, does everyone have to leave a review? No. But that also may mean you don't have to buy it. Uh, I'd say if you leave a review, you've had to buy one. Well, no, I don't know. Like I, Sharks Have Feelings too. Tons of people left, I think, reviews. They didn't, didn't buy it. Book. Well, there was more reviews than sales? No, it was the number one bestseller. But it was, there's, uh -huh. I mean, the reviews are, you didn't have time to read the book. Some of the reviews are so detailed. Uh, and then, well, uh, it was kind of a heartwarming week at the company as well. Why is that? Well, the first thing I got here, we have. Uh, I have no we, idea why that was heartwarming. No, 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 no. no. no I, I don't I, know. My next topics are heartwarming. Okay. What? Well, yeah, the, you hired that Castellani guy, the Tigers guy. He, oh, yeah. Pretty touching video. Yep. He cried. Yeah, I know. It's heart warmer. Yeah, no, I was happy. I, he He's just like, 
has that something where I'm like, I saw the video. Turns out it's his dream job. He was actually ready to take another job. He's like, his bar still at this is all I've won my whole life. So, yeah, I'm happy to bring him on board. And what's uh, he's going to be? A Tigers great... baseball. Tigers baseball. Anybody who covers a team as passionately as he does, especially when they're like maybe the worst franchise in sports, you get some credibility in my book. He's going to be a Greek town casino just yep. giving Tigers tips. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. And I, I did think you, you summed it up pretty well saying, I love going from Frankie going nuts about the Islanders to this guy recapping game 56. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. 13 to 1 loss. It, 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 yeah, it encompasses Barstool. <laughs> yeah. Like playoff hockey, Frankie literally almost had a heart attack and fainted. And then you got this guy just almost as important in his mind. Game 57 of the Tigers, <laughs> like getting blown out. Yeah, well, you know, the catcher, two pass balls. <laughs> 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 crazy, crazy. So that was the first thing. The uh, second thing is the letter play, the golf tournament. Ended. Yeah, great, great job by Riggs. I'm glad we were able to do that. Some touching videos, really well done. Um, good thing to be part of, proud to be a part of it. Anything from that or was it? Well, no, un un unbeknownst to people, we don't do things necessarily for like, the back, right? I'm just happy we're able to give the girls one final. And, and Riggsy, oh my God. Now, Riggs may have done it for himself. <laughs> we did it for the girls. Riggs did it so he could remind the world he played college hockey as a healthy scratch his entire career. I mean, do you see his speech? We talked about it before. He gets up in front of the girls. Hey, girls, I just, you know, I played college hockey and, you know, I, I was a college hockey player and the boys and me, and I just played college hockey. So thanks for coming. And, uh, you know, you'll never forget my days. I played college hockey. That was his speech. That was his speech. <laughs> there was. Listen to the speech. Well, glad glad the women got to play. For sure. Uh, nice tournament. Uh, good, good job, Riggs. And then uh, ZBT, they're sponsoring a car, Barcel sponsoring a car. Yeah, so there was a veteran, a disabled veteran from Alaska with a mullet who's racing in uh, the truck series Friday night. Chaps texted me. Uh, he's like, hey, this guy lost his sponsorship right before the race. I saw Red up on it. I hit him up. I'm like, how much do you need? It's actually expensive. But I'm like, all right, we'll do it. Um, came together really quickly. And, uh, if you've been following Black Rifle, perfect segue. But uh, I'm pretty sympathetic to troops and vets mm -hmm. and things like that. So I was glad we were able to help. How cool looking truck. Can you say how expensive it 45 is? 45 grand. Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but that's what it was. Okay. So it's going to be racing Friday. So Friday night. Okay. Charlotte. So tonight when this episode airs, probably. So look out for that. Hopefully Very cool. We're going to get merch. I told Welker to mock up some merch. The worst to ever do it. The woke. <laughs> he, he, I, I think he has kids, right? He's a coach, I know. He has kids. They're probably like six years old, a girl in kindergarten, like learning like Microsoft Paint. That's who he has to do the designs. They are that bad. Well, isn't that why we have a graphics team? Graphic yeah, he designer? always said he could do it. I send it to him, but they're so awful. I give credit to him for even having the balls to send me back the designs he sends. They're that ugly. Do you tell him that too? Oh, I, um, what did I say to what did I say to him? Where does uh, where does Welker rank in the pantheon of uh, taking a taking a beating or a, or a he's, lashing from you? He's up there. I mean, he could be number one all time. I had to like almost remove myself from the situation because the lashings that I was giving him. Um, what do we said? So I sent it the shirt. I said, <laughs> uh, "Can we mock up the shirt?" No, um, all right, so he sends, he says, on it sends me my response. I go, try again, all suck. Then he sent me another batch. I'll send to somebody who can make shirts. <laughs> no response, uh, he just ignored it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the... That's tough. That's tough for Welker. He's bad. Welker has been here forever. This was supposed to be the he, heart. We've warming. talked about getting rid of him for decades straight. He's never going to get removed. He's more grandfathered in than almost anybody. He's as grandfathered in as, and it, we do have better <laughs> graphics. So it's force a habit that I send it to him as original pitch. We'll hire graphics out of that. No, no, no. 
It's his six-year-old daughter in kindergarten, Microsoft Paint, Finger Paint, and that's who does the designs for him. So who's done a positive thing more recently, him or Gaz? Long pause. Probably Gaz. <laughs> Uh, Big Cat has a kid. Yeah, daughter. Good for him. Good for him. Spitting out the kids. There he goes. Yeah, it's like you were. Uh, you didn't ask Whitney how his kid was doing. I, I, I Shout out congratulated uh, Big Cat. I don't care how your kids are doing. I care that they're healthy. Yeah. I don't care how they're doing in like school and shit. Nobody does. You're lying if you care about that. You I, care about your own kids, and that's it. Facts. Last thing Unless here. Unless kids on a sports team, you need the other kids on the team to pull their weight. Last thing, JB, Jordan Berry donates a kidney to her father. Now, Jordan Berry, that's something. Yeah, it's nice. Under the radar, she saw the tweet, proud of her. That's a great thing. That's a great thing. That's something. And, and she'll be back in the office before Mincy. <laughs> by, by you, Ben. She'll be in there. That's like the second person, too. Jake from the production team. We had another guy. I don't know if you're familiar with him. but he, Jake Marsh? No, Jake uh, Lashevsky. Did I say his name right? Yeah. I was last name right, but he does the bench mob. He's a bench mob producer. Which bench mob? The Rico, Marty Mush, and Jake Marsh one. Oh. He donated a kidney earlier this year, Good too. Good for him. I don't yeah. know who that is, but that's a, lot of that's a great thing. It's Heartwarming. Great thing. Heartwarming show. Great thing. Here. All right. That's all I got. Okay. You got anything? Nope. Two weeks, you'll be in Miami? Yeah. So I'm here, obviously. Today, we're recording Thursday. Tomorrow's our party. Saturday think i'm flying back to the east coast and then the plan is monday to go to miami for two weeks and then to an undisclosed location for the summer yeah okay but like get my thinking cap on get my brain going got you know keep this keep keep rolling so you're not out for the rest of the summer no I, i'll be back in the office because usually i go to nantucket i'm not doing that it's much more difficult to come back and forth from nantucket um i'm gonna be closer how has the office been? Are you enjoying being back? Does it feel? I don't know if enjoying. I think I add an element of spice to it. Yeah, of course. Are you getting a little fired up, though? It was hard for you to walk around there for a while without getting mad at people. Most of the people that I hate are gone. Okay. Who do I hate in that office? I don't, I don't know if there's any hateable people. Oh. There's one. <laughs> All right, we can end the show there. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for listening. That's it. Uh, Indiana. Yeah, when is this out? This will be out probably today. It'll be Friday morning. Yeah, so you can still get the tickets, most likely. Um, and there's a loophole that I, I'm so dumb. You can get a free ticket to this party. You, you just bet both sides. Bet both sides. Have your buddy bet the other side. You bet the Lakers tonight. He bets the Suns. He wins. He gives you two fifty. You win. You give him two fifty. It's a wash. You get. You both get free tickets. Open bar. Diplo, Machine Gun Kelly, Big Cat, and I talked about this. We're like, wait a minute. Can you just bet against? We were on the phone for ten minutes. Bang. No, you can't. You don't like one twenty five. We couldn't figure it out. It's basically simple. You bet both sides. It's a wash. Big brains. Small the big brains. brains. Yep. Get your I miss her merch. Silvana Riders. I'm out here. Uh, that's it. That's it for today. That's Achea, it for this week. Sales guy. Sales guy? Is that Paul? Sales guy said client writes it and is a stool. He says, you've reacted favorably before, but this feels like an overstep. Let me know how you want to proceed. <laughs> Fucking Shea. Make a cameo for me, Shea. How about that? And we'll call it even. I want a free cameo. <laughs> <laughs>